After the black light disappeared, Lin Hao looked at the status bar expectantly. Race. Death Knight, Death Knight, Level, Level 20. Life. 64,338 Anger Value. 1941 Strength. 125.6, plus 92. Agility. 69, plus 14, Intelligence. 85.4, plus 44, Physical Fitness. 111.2, plus 215. Movement speed. 320, plus 64, plus 64, uh, has anything changed? No, no change at all. The basic attributes have not changed even half a dime. The attributes added later are attributes that can be effective in the equipment slot. There will be no attribute bonus when hidden. Only legendary effects can be effective. They can only be applied externally or transformed after being worn. Attribute bonus. Is it true that I have become lonely? Or is it that evolution and promotion in the eyes of a plugin are not the same thing? No, it should be the same thing. I definitely didn't understand it wrong. You may not know any changes until you upgrade. Now, check the skill bar to see if there are any changes to the skills. At first glance, there seemed to be no changes, but upon closer inspection, Lin Hao was so shocked that his jaw almost stopped closing. Death Coil, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, Single Target Skill, Consumes 75 Rage Points, Distance 180, Causes 400 Points of Damage or Restores 800 Points of Life to the Undead Unit. Death Pact, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, Single Target Skill, Consumes 50 Rage Points, Distance 160, Kills an undead unit of ours and converts 250% into your own life. Evil Aura, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 10 thousandths, Group Aura Skill, Range 280, Movement Speed plus 20%, Life Recovery 10 per second. Manipulate the Dead, 1 fifth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, Group Skill, Consumes 250 Rage, Range 280, Resurrects 24 selected dead units for 80 seconds, Invincible during Resurrection. CD 180 seconds. After seeing these four skills, I felt that I had really advanced. More proficiency means that it can be upgraded, and the damage or attributes of the skills themselves are also increased, some even doubled or more. The most terrifying thing is the control of dead corpses. The number of resurrections has doubled. I don't know what will happen after the upgrade. Looking at other skills. Flame Slash, 1 tenth, proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, ignite the air in front of you causing 280% weapon damage, and generating 5 points of anger, as fire damage. Shield Slam, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, consumes 30 points of anger, rushes towards the enemy and slams the target and all surrounding enemies with the shield, causing 750% weapon damage, plus the equivalent of shield block chance of 310% damage, as evil damage. Skin of Steel, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, your skin turns into steel, which can absorb 51% of all damage. During use, it will continue to consume 4 rage points per second. Evil War Horse, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, Command a War Horse from Hell, allowing you to pass through the enemy formation as if you were in a deserted land. During use, you will continue to consume 4 rage points per second. Sword of Heavenly Punishment, 1 tenth, Proficiency, 0 1 thousandths, consumes 25 points of anger, leaps up and strikes the enemy with the force of thunder, causing 1800% weapon damage to all enemies within 15 meters, CD 30 seconds. Sure enough, all levels are displayed, and having proficiency means that you can upgrade. Let's look at the skills learned using skill scrolls. Evil Explosion, 10 20ths. Summons the spirits of up to 5 corpses within 25 meters of the designated area and triggers an explosion causing 2,550% weapon damage to enemies within 40 meters. Most of them have had their upper limit increased. Originally the upper limit was only level 10, but now the upper limit is level 20. The skill attributes have not changed. Only the command puppet has no changes. The two passive skills, Hot Sleep and Hell Power, also have no changes. You can go chew the skill book to upgrade. As long as you spend money, your strength will skyrocket in an instant. However, the primary random skill scroll is no longer useful now, and what is needed is the intermediate random skill scroll. It's not very expensive, each one is only 50% more expensive than the entry level ones, 6 million per piece. Look back and see how much money is left at home, and if possible, do it all at once. Yesterday, 
I was bored on the plane and asked my sister what the purpose of going to the little secret realm was. She said it was for practicing skill proficiency. Skills learned by others using skill scrolls, just like the autonomous awakening skills above, have proficiency. If you want to upgrade your skills, you must practice proficiency. The small secret realm has many monsters and is safe. Even if you make a mistake, or if you are not strong enough and are killed by a monster, you will not really die, you will just be teleported out. As the saying goes, life does not take two, and life must be interpreted carefully. Regardless of whether the efficiency is faster or slower than in the wild, safety comes first, so the small secret realm is the best place to practice skills and develop ways to use various skills. Look at Wang Siki and Giwa Shaman again. The attributes have not changed and are the same as their basic attributes. However, the upper limit of Wang Siki's physical skills has also been increased. The upper limit of death mark is now level 20. There are no changes to minion skills and special awakenings. The five skills of the immortal cockroach are the same, without any changes. At least not a single word in the skill description has changed, so I won't post the word count. All four skills of Ghost Shaman have levels. Ghost Baby Army, 1 tenth, summon an army of ghost dolls to fight. The number is determined by the level currently 20. When the ghost warrior warrior attacks, it will add 180% of the damage of the host weapon. Voodoo dance, 1 tenth. The ghost shaman performs the dance of worshipping death, praying to death, and can resurrect the ghost army that was killed or self-destructed. It can also increase the attack and movement speed of all nearby undead units by 16%. Self-destruction, 1 tenth. When the ghost child is killed or extremely angry, it will self-destruct its body and die with the enemy causing damage equal to 210% of its own health, and a 6% chance of causing double self-destruction damage. Summon zombie dogs, 1 tenth. Summon 6 zombie dogs from the abyss to fight together. Each zombie dog deals 120% of your weapon damage per hit, as poison damage. There is very little improvement. Upgrading these skills seems to consume intermediate random skill scrolls. Including the ghost shaman, just by maxing out all the scroll skills, there would be 106 intermediate random skill scrolls, which would be 636 million. It's okay, completely acceptable. After Lin Hao watched Ghost Baby Shaman, he was ready to turn off the skill bar. At this time, a dark energy floated out, as if begging the owner to take a look at it. Lin Hao suddenly remembered, damn, he had forgotten about the Orc Prophet. Quickly use the command puppet to reorganize the Orc Prophet. A burst of darkness emerged, with Lin Hao's death power as the core spinning a whirlwind of darkness. Etc. Lin Hao suddenly remembered that the orc prophet was at least 5 meters tall, and there were no such high floors in the basement. Don't wait for it to be restructured and end up losing your home. However, Lin Hao was still a step too late. The power of death had been condensed and the reconstruction of the orc prophet was completed. Uh, what's going on? Lin Hao looked at the orc prophet who had shrunk a lot and was only about 2 meters tall. Three people appeared on his head. Open its status bar. Puppet number 2 level, 20 body skill. Dark moon totem. Summons a dark red moon shadow to block the light. All undead units under the moon shadow increase the attack speed by 20%, the movement speed by 15%, the attack speed by 10%, and receive dark healing, recovering 0.5% life per second. Upper limit. Servant skill. Sacrifice yourself, restore 25% of the master's health, and reconstruct at the target location. While the puppet restructures, the tendrils will deal 600% of the host's weapon damage as physical damage to nearby enemies. Special Awakening. Unavenged Revenge. Summons the Dark Moon clan orcs who have fallen into hell to return to the living world to fight. Even gods cannot stop the Dark Moon clan's desire for revenge. Currently, only three orc warriors can be summoned. Strength. 130 Agility. 60 Intelligence. 120 Physical Fitness. 180. Movement Speed. 360, plus 72. Note. When attacking, 600% of the damage of the host's weapon is added. After being killed, the soul can be consumed to reconstruct the body. The master is immortal and will live forever. Those war skills are all gone. Lin Hao immediately darkened his face. I spent so much money and so much thought to resurrect a thing like you. What's the use of you? You can only summon three orc zombies? You can't even summon the ghost baby shaman even worse, let alone Wang Siki. In the darkness around me, there was a, quacking, laughter, which was the voice of the ghost child shaman. Lin Hao was speechless for a while, thinking that even if he degraded to level 20, 
so many practical war skills would become low-level versions and stay, but they all disappeared. Judging from the attributes, it is still passable, or after upgrading in the future, I can learn all those war skills. Go back to the dark. Being great in the future is something that will happen in the future. I don't want to see this thing now. The orc prophet turned into a puff of black smoke, then disappeared between heaven and earth, returning to darkness. Lin Hao looked at the words puppet number two, thought about it, and changed it to profit. Looking at my account, I just paid out one billion, leaving more than three hundred million. Ask my elder sister for some, collect enough 1.2 billion, buy 200 intermediate random skill scrolls, and eat up all the skills. I don't know what new skills I can learn from the intermediate random skills, but I'm really looking forward to it. If your heart is in a dream, it is there. There is true love between heaven and earth, life is heroic depending on success or failure, but it is just starting over. The phone rang, and Lin Hao frowned. Who the hell changed my phone's ringtone? It's still the theme song for the laid off and re-employment propaganda from hundreds of years ago. When I saw it, I saw a call from my sister, I quickly answered it and was about to find her. Hey, brother, are you okay over there, sister, I'm fine now. I went to the villa in Yongpu University town and I finished my promotion. When Lin Yarong heard that her brother had successfully advanced to the next level, she immediately said, yes, with joy, and then said, we, brother and sister, will have a good celebration tonight. Oh, by the way, you are in the villa over there, so I asked the designer to come over and take a look. You open the door for this person and show him around. Designer, oh, by the way, my sister said that she needs to hire someone to redesign and decorate it. No problem, when will the designer come? It's almost there. You should be here in about half an hour. I thought you were at the exchange, and I was about to call you to pick him up. I asked another designer to go to the beach villa. I'm over there. It's all over today. Let's go eat seafood tonight and have a good drink. Two designers? Lin Hao thought that for two houses in completely different locations, we should really find two designers suitable for the location, scenery and style of the house. Lin Hao had previously said that the villa in the university town should be designed to feel like a home, with a home training room and high privacy. A villa by the sea is for vacation and leisure, and what you want is luxury. In addition to design requirements, the villa must also match the nearby environment so that it can be comfortable to live in. No problem, I'll wait for him at the door, by the way, sister, I. Hurry up and wait at the door. People are almost here. I have a call to come in. Let's meet up later. Lin Yarong hurriedly hung up the phone. Lin Hao asked her to transfer 900 million in the second half of the sentence. He had more than 300 million on hand, so he could scrape together 1.2 billion to buy an intermediate skill scroll. Forget it, don't be in a hurry. If you get the money tonight, it won't be too late to buy it tomorrow. Then, you have to think about leveling up. No, what are you thinking about? Once all the skills are maxed out, leveling up won't be a matter of minutes? Anyone below level 40 is invincible. If I go out and walk around in the wild for two times and come back, if I don't have level 40, I have to be level 35. Thinking of this, Lin Hao felt really relaxed, and the life of hanging was so beautiful. Going up to the first floor, and just walking out of the courtyard, the designer came over with a team of dozens of people, carrying a lot of unknown design instruments. When Lin Hao opened the door, did he feel so exaggerated? Watching from the sidelines, the designer team worked on it for a long time, measuring all the inside and outside, the three floors above and below the ground. The designer shook hands with Lin Hao politely, and then said that the drawings will be produced in three days, and I guarantee that you will be satisfied. Lin Hao looked at their professionalism and felt that the price might not be cheap. I looked at the time and it was already 5 p.m., give me a call. Lin Yarong answered the phone and said, I'm checking out at the design company. You go to TVXQ Seafood Restaurant by the Wangpu River to grab two seats. I'll be there soon. Is the checkout here soon, but my sister is famous for her efficiency? After hanging up the phone, Lin Hao got on his beloved motorcycle, sang a tune, and went to the seafood restaurant to grab a seat. Fortunately, the new suspended motorcycle drove very fast, Lin Hao was one step ahead and got a seat by stepping on the line. People behind him had to queue up with their numbers. I ordered a table of luxurious seafood, opened a few bottles of good wine, and set them aside to sober up. What day is it today? There are so many people at the door, I almost can't squeeze in. Ten minutes later, Lin Yarong arrived and complained that there were too many people at the door. Lin Hao thought to himself, when will this place not be like this? Come on, 
let's have a drink first to celebrate that little how how from our old Lin family has advanced to level 20. Cheers, drink it all in one gulp. It's a 30 year old red wine, not bad. After drinking for three rounds, they started to cook seafood. Lin Hao then said to Lin Yarong, Sister, you can transfer 900 million to me later. What do you want 900 million for? Buy an intermediate skill scroll. Oh, um, let's do it later, I don't have any money now. Ah, uh, Lin Hao was dumbfounded. Sister, don't you still have 5 billion? Why is there no money? Lin Yarong glanced at Lin Hao, took out a stack of bills from the storage halo, and showed them to Lin Hao. Lin Hao picked it up and looked at it, and his jaw almost didn't close. Two villas were purchased for a total of 900 million, including 300 million in taxes and fees. The total design fee is 200 million. The decoration fee is 1.9 billion for the one in the university town and 1 billion for the seaside villa. 1 billion bought 10,000 points from some students and deposited them into Lin Hao's university ID. 5 billion is just gone. Sister, I understand that the prices of the two villas are so high. Especially the seaside villa cost 500 million to buy. Iron Man's cliff house is not so luxurious. The design fee is expensive. Maybe others are so professional and are worth the price. I understand too. But, the renovation cost is 2.9 billion? Is the floor of our villa paved with gold? Lin Hao was really dumbfounded. What kind of decoration could be so expensive? Lin Yarong took a sip of wine and said, Paved with gold? Is the material used in our home comparable to gold decorations used by ordinary people? Look at the quotation of materials here. In the training room, the floor, ceiling, and walls are covered with alien crystals mined from other worlds. These alien crystals can absorb a large amount of overflowing supernatural powers, and can collect the absorbed powers through magic circles. Converting the force energy to supply the villa's AI defense system, such a training room can withstand the torment of the two of us, do you understand? The kind of fitness training room used by civilians, if I burst out with my powers and move, the house will collapse. Lin Yarong said seriously that this problem is unavoidable for all superpowers. In the last hospital incident, Lin Yarong just burst out in the government hall and rushed out. The force of the stampede and the recoil caused a hole. The government hall is already a very solid ordinary building. Lin Yarong explained to Lin Hao, if it is just the decoration of ordinary civilians, no matter how luxurious it is, it only starts at 10 million and ends at 20 million. It is already very impressive. The floor tiles at home are already inlaid with gold. But people with superpowers cannot likewise. The most common things used by people with superpowers are much more expensive than those used by civilians. Look at the new hoverbike we bought. The civilian version is only 10 million, but the superpower version is over 100 million. No matter how expensive the things of superpowers are, they won't affect ordinary people, because ordinary people can't use them at all. Lin Hao was speechless, looking at the cost of decoration materials, nearly 60% of the cost was consumed. The most important thing is that I decided to build a training room at home. My original idea was that if I practiced outside, it would probably cause unnecessary trouble, such as summoning puppet Wang Siki, ghost baby shaman, etc. So I had one at home. The training room is the most stable. I really want to give myself a punch, the same goes for my sister, I just told myself that it costs so much money, why don't you just tell me and discuss it? Oh, sister, that's not right. The villa in the university town spent so much money to renovate it to build a training room. I can understand it. We use the one at the beach for vacation, so why do we have to spend so much money? Lin Yarong said, Do you think the sea is calm? There are more monsters in the sea than on land. Occasionally, monsters will bypass the island's peripheral defense system and swim over. Do we need to have a strong defense system at home? How about protection? It's not like the two of us are here every day. Lin Hao wanted to say, There is a tourist area over there. How could it be possible for monsters to get in so easily? That defense system you installed is more expensive than the entire villa. However, I didn't dare to say the words, for fear that my sister would be unhappy. Lin Yarong saw what Lin Hao meant and said smoothly, turn to the last page and see clearly that the core of the AI defense system of the two villas can be removed and taken away. It is the latest nanotechnology AI defense the system can be worn on the body and turned into a force kinetic energy armor. Real. Lin Hao quickly turned to the last page and looked at the introduction, there was a five-dimensional code on it. Scan it with your computer to see a more detailed introduction. After watching it, Lin Hao said it was awesome, he had no idea how to describe it, he could only compare it to some science fiction movies he had watched. 
The one in the university town villa is the core, and the one in the beach villa is the accessory. When the two are combined, it is a complete set of force kinetic armor. Just like Iron Man's Mark 85 Nano Armor 2.0 plus Veronica's multifunctional support. This set of armor is worth 1 billion. What, too expensive? Please, this is the kinetic energy of the force. Each set is an independent AI core, which can automatically absorb the force in the air to replenish energy, and can also be directly supplied by the user to drive the superpower, embodying the superpower's own attributes. As long as the AI core is not completely destroyed, it can absorb the force to automatically repair itself, and can also incorporate rare metals to enhance its attributes. I heard that that night, Lao Yu from Wink Academy and the girls from Wink Academy were wearing such armor, and the visual fighting scene was not inferior to any violent superpowers. This is a man's romance, Lin Hao suddenly had an idea, what would happen if this thing was worn by a skeleton? To build such a force armored skeleton army, you don't need to have a lot of them, just get 100 of them. Even if you encounter a man in a dress and mask, you should be able to kill them right away, right? Well, if you have a clue, if you are below level 60, you will probably be invincible. Ha 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 ha. Lin Hao couldn't help laughing. What are you thinking about? You're like a fool. After you enroll in school, you can use this suit of armor as an excuse to go out for leveling. No matter what powerful monsters you level up, you will have an excuse. You usually practice at home. When the time comes, the AI core can absorb the overflowing power and store it, completely recycling the energy. I think the money is well spent. Lin Yarong felt that it didn't matter how much money she spent on her brother. Lin Hao also nodded. Well, yes, it is indeed worth it. However, Lin Hao thought of another question. Sister, school hasn't started yet. Why are you buying points? Why are you buying 10,000 points? Isn't it said that spending money to redeem points is a loss? Lin Yarong said. There is not much use for money in the university. It ranges from meals and accommodation to hiring servants to clean the house, to redeeming materials and equipment, etc. Points are all used. Even if you go to a small secret realm to practice skill proficiency, you still need points. I saw that the last time you went to the little secret realm, you got 2000 points directly to get a promotion, so I will recharge some for you in advance. You will have points from the beginning, and you will be very relaxed during the beginning of school. After listening to this, Lin Hao could only say that the person in front of him was not an elder sister, but a mother or a nanny. Everything had been considered. University credits, also known as superpower points, or points for short, are equivalent to a special currency system used by superpowers and are common to all universities in the alliance. I heard that this is a currency trial experiment conducted by the UED government in universities. If the National Awakening Plan is successful and there are no ordinary people in the society, this point currency system will be fully promoted. Now the resources in the army have also begun to adopt a points system. Now it seems that the more than 300 million in his hands is just the living expenses of the siblings outside the university. Go buy dozens of skill rolls, how many more can you add? Think about it, forget it, it's not necessary, let's save the plot later. Now that the money has been spent, Lin Hao can't say anything more. Just talk to Lin Yarong about getting promoted. After hearing this, Lin Yarong said in surprise. What, brother, your attributes have not changed? Has the upper limit of the skill level you learned increased? That's right. Will there be any big changes when you advance to level 20? Lin Hao said that he really didn't change at all. Brother, it's a good thing you were promoted before enrolling. Let me give you some popular science. These are things only studied in college, Lin Yarong said seriously. Before level 20, you will have 5 attribute points for each level you advance to. However, after level 20, you will have 7 attribute points for each level you advance to. And when you advance, you will gain 2 asterisk 20 levels at a time, which is 40 attribute points. Distributable. Well, after hearing this, Lin Hao was stunned. Impossible, absolutely impossible, how could a plug-in be so useful than others? Lin Hao said, then if you advance to level 40, will you also get 40 attribute points at once? Lin Yarong said, no, after level 40. You will get 11 attribute points for each level, and then you will get 200 attribute points at a time. After level 60, you will get 19 attribute points for each level, and you will get 680 attribute points at a time. 80 each level after level is worth 35 attribute points, and you can get 1960 attribute points at one time. Hearing this, Lin Hao did the math. The attributes gained once he advanced to a higher level were equivalent to a compensation for the attribute points less gained from previous upgrades. 
the further up the level, the greater the compensation. This gradually reflects the difference between advanced and unadvanced. The attribute points alone are much higher than the previous ones. This is why the college league limits one grouping below level 40, and one grouping between 40 and 60, which is based on promotion as the dividing line. Lin Yarong continued. Don't be surprised. At the beginning, everyone's basic total attributes are around 70, and a very few people can have 75. However, when upgrading, the basic four-dimensional attributes will not grow naturally. In total, by level 20, there are 95 points. Attributes, the maximum number of attributes that can be obtained by chewing the creation fruit at a beginner level is 3, which is considered to be a maximum of 150 attributes, plus 40 points for promotion, that is, 285 points can be allocated. Although you do not have free attribute points, your four-dimensional attributes will naturally grow at each level. I have calculated before that your total attribute growth at each level is 16.8. At level 20, your total attribute growth is 319.2. Others eat the fruits of creation. You can't increase your attributes by 3 points every time, let alone how many people can increase their attributes by 3 points every time. After hearing this, Lin Hao felt a lot more comfortable in his heart. Maybe every time he upgraded to a level, his four dimensional attributes grew higher than before. It might have doubled, but not necessarily. Sister, after hearing what you say, I feel like I can do it again, Lin Hao said. You know how special you are, right? Remember, your four dimensional attributes will grow on their own after upgrading. They are different from everyone else. Don't tell any outsiders. Also, the skills learned from the skill scroll cannot be said. Never I have never heard of skills that can be upgraded by relying on skill scrolls. Everyone upgrades by practicing proficiency. Don't you stupidly tell others that you can upgrade with just a skill scroll? You will definitely be arrested and dissected. Lin Yarong talked about this issue very seriously, because in more than 400 years of history of the Force era, Lin Hao was the first and only one in this situation. Lin Hao asked, Sister, can't even your skills be upgraded with skill scrolls? Lin Yarong said, no the skill scroll can only allow you to learn skills and cannot upgrade them. Skills that have been learned will not be repeated if they are not forgotten. Lin Hao had read this online before, and there seemed to be such a saying. Sister, are the skills only at level 10? Can the upper limit be increased after level 10? For example, if you learn the wind blade from the primary skill scroll, after reaching the full level, you can use the intermediate skill scroll to reach the wind blade after reaching level 20. Will the upper limit be increased to level 20? Lin Hao also had to ask this question clearly. I'm telling you this, after you learn Windblade with the primary scroll, you can't upgrade it until your proficiency reaches level 10. It's impossible to increase the level limit, and the intermediate scroll won't have the skill Windblade. But after you advance, you can use the intermediate scroll to get the skill Storm. Storm is the advanced version of Windblade. The prerequisite for learning is that Windblade is at full level. If the prerequisites are met, you can learn it, and then Windblade will be replaced by Storm. The level must be retrained, of course, even if the Storm is level 1, it is much more powerful than the Windblade of level 10. Lin Hao thought for a moment and said, Sister, does this mean that the elementary skills learned from the elementary skill scrolls are upgraded to intermediate skills using the intermediate skill scrolls, and then the intermediate skills are upgraded to advanced skills using the advanced skill scrolls? Lin Yarong summed it up, almost, but not quite, these skills that are promoted from junior high school to high school are called system skills. Some system skills start at the intermediate level. In addition, some skills cannot be promoted and are called independent skills. The attributes required for learning are relatively high and the power is relatively strong. For some independent skills, as long as your attributes meet the requirements, you can ignore the level and promotion and learn them directly, as long as you can master them. There are many types of skills. Many skills have no connection on the surface but in fact they are prerequisites for the next high-level skill. Some high-level skills are used alone, and the damage and destruction effect may not be as good as two or three low-level skills that are properly matched. Skill. So, there are a lot of things to learn in college, and the studies are very heavy. You have to learn theoretical knowledge, practice skill proficiency, and do tasks to earn points to redeem skill scrolls, forget scrolls, create fruits, etc. Although you are different from others. It's both a liberal arts school, but it's basically the same, and the liberal arts studies are still arduous. You have 10,000 points when you first enroll. Compared with most people, you are already ahead of the starting line. So, I think this 1 billion is well spent. After hearing this, Lin Hao couldn't help shouting, Mom, what? 
Lin Yarong was pouring wine just now and didn't hear clearly. Did I say you were hungry? Lin Hao quickly changed the subject, unable to help himself for the second time. Eat quickly when you're hungry. There are so many seafoods. Lin Yarong peeled off a shrimp and put it in Lin Hao's bowl. Lin Hao thought of the last question and asked, Sister, is there any difference between the junior, middle and senior levels of creation fruit? There are two differences. First, junior high, middle and high levels correspond to those used before advancing to level 20, 40, and 60. Taking the junior creation fruit as an example, you must eat it before advancing to level 20. If you advance to level 20 if you don't eat enough before the level, eating it after you advance will have no effect and will not increase attribute points. The second point is that the added attributes are different. The basic level is 1 to 3 attribute points, the intermediate level is 2 to 6 points, and the advanced level is 4 to 12 points. As for how many attributes are increased by chewing the creation fruit, the biggest impact is one's talent, understanding and luck. Theoretically, the higher the awakened power level, the better the talent, and the higher the chance of getting high attributes from chewing the fruit. The common thing is that they are all full of 50 people. Lin Hao nodded, understanding, that's it, in the future, when chatting with others at school, I won't be so stupid that I don't know anything. Lin Yarong told Lin Hao a lot of things he needed to pay attention to after enrolling. Lin Hao remembered them all. During the rest of the summer vacation, Lin Yarong will often go back to school to start training. This year her goal is to dominate the individual and team competitions in the college league between 40 and 60 levels, and win the double championship. So her team was named Team Champions. The renovation progress of the villa was left to Lin Hao to supervise. Lin Hao was not idle when supervising the decoration. Although I didn't buy an intermediate skill scroll, I still have 9 skills that I need to practice and upgrade. The simplest is the evil aura. Just turn it on and it doesn't cost anything. The longer you use it, the higher your proficiency will be. It's just that the proficiency of this skill increases very slowly, and it has to be turned on 24 hours a day. Death coil must actually cause damage to the enemy when used, or successfully add blood to one's own side, in order to gain one point of proficiency. The same is true for death pact. Only by successfully killing an undead unit on our side and adding health to yourself can you gain one point of proficiency. However, if you kill an undead unit on your side and you do not successfully increase your health, you have no proficiency. Manipulating dead corpses was even worse. You had to resurrect 24 dead units to count as one proficiency, and one less unit didn't count. This made Lin Hao try his best to find an ant nest. However, he was not skilled at resurrecting ordinary ants, so Lin Hao was so angry that he blocked the ant nest with aluminum water. Other attack skills can gain proficiency as long as they cause damage to the enemy, while idle skills have no proficiency. Skin of steel is the most disgusting, and you can gain proficiency by being beaten, but it is also the best to practice. You can increase the proficiency by riding the evil warhorse in circles, and the proficiency increases faster than the evil halo. Lin Hao felt really dizzy when he saw these troublesome leveling requirements. No wonder everyone goes to the small secret realm to practice their skills. There is no better or safer place than the small secret realm, but it costs a little bit of points. Just think of it as practicing in advance, go there once a day, consume 100 points each time, go in and do it 6 times, squeeze out the potential of every monster, and practice the skill proficiency to the extreme. This was a fulfilling summer vacation. Lin Hao's skill proficiency increased rapidly, and his skill level also increased. At the same time, the points in his ID were also consumed very quickly. Time flies. September 1st was a grand day. The weather was good, and the whole territory of the Alliance, which was so vast, had sunny skies. This is something that would be unimaginable in the old technological society. The sun shines through the lush treetops and shines dappledly on the gate of the university, coating the ancient and solemn buildings with a golden brilliance. Freshmen from all over the league entered this new world full of unknowns and possibilities with excitement and anticipation. Every campus is crowded with people and bustling with excitement. Various banners and slogans are fluttering in the wind, with various blessings to welcome new students written on them. The seniors shuttled enthusiastically among the crowd, their faces filled with youthful enthusiasm, providing all kinds of help and guidance to the freshmen. At every registration office, freshmen lined up in long lines, they filled out various forms while communicating with each other about their hometowns and hobbies. Every new student's face is full of novelty and curiosity. They look at everything around them from time to time, trying to integrate into this new environment as soon as possible. 
On campus, cheerful laughter and lively conversations can be heard from time to time. These sounds are intertwined to form a vivid picture. Everyone here is full of vigor and vitality, and they look forward to gaining knowledge, friendship, and growth here in the days to come. In this place full of hopes and dreams, freshmen are about to start their college life, embarking on a journey full of challenges and opportunities with their vision and expectations for the future. And all of this will become the most unforgettable memories in their lives. Rookie, enjoy the best four years of your life. After four years, if your grades are not up to standard, you will go to the battlefield with those muscular martial arts students with simple minds. He has blonde hair, dark skin, and a thin face. He has a lot of pimples on his face, especially the one on his nose that is particularly big. He has a cynical look on his face. He has his legs crossed on the table. As long as a new student comes to him to submit his admission form, he will say, Once. The freshman's originally happy mood was interrupted by this guy's words, and their hearts immediately sank. I heard that UED is preparing to reform. Only those liberal arts students who meet the academic standards and have been admitted to government or military logistics departments are outstanding enough to stay as teaching assistants or are favored by professors or experts to become one of the research members of a certain project. No need to go to the battlefield. The rest will form a mobile force of force armor, gathering more than 5 million troops to prepare for a comprehensive attack on the last few large islands in the South China Sea, regaining the entire Southeast Asia opening up life channels, and preparing for a full-scale attack on Australia in the future. However, these are just rumors, and the UED government has not yet issued formal blackhead documents. Snapped, ouch, I'll wipe it, gu panpan, are you sick, why did you kick my stool leg? The golden retriever's stool was swept away by gu panpan's kick, and he fell on his face. The pimple on his nose broke and a lot of pulp burst out. Bah, gu panpan glanced at him and kicked him away. Intimidating the new students, right? You're complaining day by day. If the news is confirmed, you will be the first to be captured and sent to the battlefield. The golden retriever got up and was about to get angry, but when he saw G.U. Panpan, he immediately gave up. G.U. Panpan, the brother of Little Pepper, was G.U. Yangwu, one of the vice presidents of the student union of the First War College in Shanghai. G.U. Panpan, don't think that because your brother is supporting you, I'm afraid of you. Wait. Be careful when walking at night in the future. He said harsh words while running. The golden retriever didn't want to have anything to do with this little pepper. No, I will let my brother destroy you tonight. Giu Panpan said more harsh words, and the golden retriever ran faster. Okay, senior sister is mighty, bah, bang, bang, bang. A circle of intimidated novices clapped their hands and cheered. A little fat boy in the crowd looked at Giu Panpan, his eyes were transfixed and he couldn't move at all. Hey, hey, fat boy, don't block the road. Just move forward. Let's see if the woman wants to be so absorbed in looking at her. The ones behind shouted several times, but the little fat boy was completely unmoved and murmured. No matter how tall you are, just six meters is enough. If your chest is not big, if you hold it full, you will be smart. This is a Lolita, and I am infatuated. Dress with cat ears, small mouth, and big eyes. Short hair is quiet and beautiful, long hair is floating. You can lick lollipops and play with eaglets, no arrogant mess, no troubles like a royal sister. Holy shit, it's just the first day of school and you're already teasing your senior? Hee hee, fat boy, school swimming pool, park pavilion, how many years do you think the sentence should be? Fatty smiled and said, it can take a few years. Damn, that's really good, I admire you and would like to call you big brother. What's the fuss about? Gu Panpan heard someone making a noise and went over to maintain order. At this time, someone from behind the crowd shouted, Damn it, the golden goddess, the golden goddess is here. The sophomore boys behind G.U. Panpan immediately stood up and rushed through the crowd. G.U. Panpan, whose arms were hurting after being hit by all the boys, suddenly his eyes darkened. Lin Yarong did not go back to her school today, she was too lazy to receive any new students. It is important to receive new students where Xiao Hao from his own family is admitted. Lin Hao originally thought that the elder sister would just walk him to the door, but she insisted on going in with him. As a result, from the time the two siblings drove their hoverbikes to the door, then walked into the school gate side by side, and all the way to one of the new student registration points, they were surrounded by people the whole time. Almost all of these people are fans of Lin Yarong. The most dazzling star of the last five college students in Shanghai, he made his debut in the University League individual points competition last year. He was ranked 45th in the 38 rounds, 
winning 30 draws, losing 7 and losing 1, ranking 2nd with 97 points. Only 1 point less than 1st place. Rich families sent SSR level men to contact her and lure her into marrying into a wealthy family. No matter she is a fresh faced milk dog in her teens or a charming uncle in her 30s or 40s, Lin Yarong remains unmoved. She always behaves like she belongs to a wealthy family, winning countless boys and girls to frantically cheer for her. Almost boys from the previous two years have listed her as the first in their dream trysts. Sister, why do I feel like you're just here to show off how popular you are? I'm so squeezed that my clothes are torn. Lin Hao couldn't help but complain. From the moment he entered the door until now, a large number of people gathered around him, either asking for autographs or taking photos, and pushed Lin Hao aside several times. After pulling and pulling, several holes were torn in the clothes. Lin Yarong was taking a photo with a girl. Others had to squeeze in for half an hour to get in front of her. It would be unreasonable not to take a photo with her. Brother, please be considerate, I didn't expect that I have so many fans in a liberal arts school. Wait until I finish taking this photo. Click. After the photo was taken, someone else squeezed up and pushed the girl away, holding the photo and asking for her autograph. Everyone, today I am here to accompany my younger brother to enroll in school. This is enough for taking photos and signing autographs. There will be opportunities in the future. Lin Yarong refused the request of the fans who crowded in front of her. Many people didn't want to leave and finally squeezed in. You said you won't take photos or sign autographs now? Originally Lin Yarong was very polite, but when she saw Lin Hao's tattered upper body and his shoes being stepped on crookedly, she immediately wanted to use her powers to drive him away. Before Lin Yarong broke out, another person broke out in advance. Everyone, disperse. This is the admission of new students, not a celebrity signing event. What do you think of Demon Dan Academy as a place? Is there anything that a student should look like? Behind the crowd, Ji-Yu Pan Pan shouted loudly with a loudspeaker. This is a specially modified large speaker, driven by the force. When turned on at high power, just saying a word can activate the power of the lion's roar. Just when Ji-Yu Pan Pan shouted the first word, a powerful energy condensed in the air, as if a lion's roar suddenly erupted in the silent forest. I saw Ji-Yu Pan Pan, who was not too short in stature, but was as powerful as a lion, and his eyes seemed to be shining with sharp light, like blazing golden eyes that could see through all illusions. The two peaks on her chest rose and fell violently, and every word she spoke seemed to carry the sound of wind and thunder. The students around her felt a strong sense of oppression, as if an invisible giant hand was strangling their throats. Everyone involuntarily covered their ears, trying to block out the roar that exploded in the air like thunder. But this was of no use, the distance was too close, and an invisible sound wave seemed to form in the air, shrouding everything around it. The students standing closest to Ji-Yu Pan Pan seemed to be pushed by an invisible force and involuntarily retreated and fell to the ground. There was a strong sense of shock and oppression, and even the ground seemed to be shaking. Is this the lost lion's roar skill? Lin Yarong's eyes flashed slightly red, golden thunder exploded, and a bolt of lightning struck from high in the sky, scattering the sound waves from Ji-Yu Pan Pan's big speaker. Boom! There was a loud noise, and the golden thunder collided with the sound wave. All the students between Lin Yarong and Ji Yu Pan Pan were blown away. Lin Hao was also thrown away by the shockwave, and smoke and dust billowed for a while. Lin Yarong saved her strength. Some of the students might be injured, but it would be nothing serious. The smoke dispersed, and two girls, one tall and one short, one a cold lady and the other a cute lowly, looked at each other, and their eyes seemed to be in a large scale battle. Swish, 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 three instructors wearing armor flew out and stayed in the air. Then a force shield came down, covering Lin Yarong and Ji Yu Pan Pan inside, separating them from other students. What happened? The older instructor in the middle asked. Ji Yu Pan Pan immediately complained. Dean of Discipline, this woman is not a freshman in our school. She came here to disrupt our freshman admission order, which caused chaos. I am maintaining order. The Dean of Students looked at Lin Yarong, furious and grumpy. He was about to teach her a lesson but he immediately recognized that this girl was the disciple of the old naughty boy from the Third War College and had worked hard to create a star student. Even the governor of the Demon City has secretly ordered that the Rising Stars be promoted as the business card of the Demon City University, so as to attract more elites from all over the Alliance to study in the Demon City and settle in the city. This is one of the city's talent attraction plans, and Lin Yarong is the best among a large number of candidates. The Dean of Students was about to curse, but he became very kind when he spoke. On the first day of school, 
you are not welcoming new students at your own school, so what are you doing here? It's easy for people to misunderstand. Lin Yarong said, returning to the Dean of Students at Demons Academy, Yarong is here today because my younger brother is enrolling today and will become a new student at Demons Academy. Oh, your brother is reporting to school, right? That's okay. It's just a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding. Everyone, please disperse. Registration will be carried out in an orderly manner, and no noise is allowed. The classmates who were injured just now should go to the school doctor's office to treat their wounds. After saying that, the dean of students removed the force shield, exchanged glances with the other two instructors, and left. The students around him got up and dispersed quickly, doing what they were supposed to do. Gu Panpan was dumbfounded. The dean, who usually had a hot temper and even scolded the children of aristocratic families, could be so polite? The plan to show off power failed. Gu Panpan immediately picked up the loudspeaker and broadcast to the surroundings. All freshmen, please line up and register at any registration point. Line up. Remember to line up. As he spoke, he walked back as if nothing happened. Facing Lin Yarong alone without the support of the dean of students and with her brother absent? Gu Panpan is not stupid. Lin Yarong was sure that the girl did it on purpose. But forget it, brother, it's important. Um, where is my brother? Only then did Lin Yarong remember that the force shield did not cover her brother inside. Find someone quickly. Sister, stop looking around, I'm here. In the flower bed behind him, Lin Hao was surrounded by flowers, looking innocent and victimized. Lin Yarong rushed over and helped Lin Hao up. Brother, are you okay? Lin Hao looked helpless. I was thinking that there might be some incident where the arrogant rich N generation would ridicule, and then pretend to be a pig, eat a tiger, and get slapped in the face. New and old school beauties were all vying to be impressed by their charm and throw themselves into their arms. After all, many protagonists are like this, but, when it comes to myself, why has it become like this? You should insist and not let me be sent to school. What a sin, Lin Hao cleaned up his current appearance, changed his torn clothes, took the admission notice, and went to fill out the form and register. Lin Yarong ran back and forth, grabbing forms and jockeying for position, while still taking time to greet the fans around her. The nearest team lined up. There were not many people, just a dozen people. Everyone submitted a form, and then the seniors and seniors told them some things. They took the sign and went to the residence management office not far behind to wait for arrangements to be assigned dormitories. Originally, everyone came with their family members, some were parents, some were parents plus siblings, and some brothers and sisters like Lin Hao were sent alone. However, the problem is that my sister is a celebrity, and she is also a college star. She is well known in the university circle, and people are taking pictures wherever she lines up. Lin Hao thought to himself, now he can't even think about being high profile. When it was Lin Hao's turn, when the senior saw Lin Yarong following Lin Hao, he smiled brightly and reached out to receive Lin Hao's admission notice and form. Brother in law, I am. Halfway through the words, before I could get the form, I saw Ji Yu Panpan, who had just returned from maintaining order, snatched Lin Hao's form and notice squeezed them away, and sat down. Name, Lin Hao. Age, 18 years old. How many people are there in the family? Who are they? Two, my sister and I hey, isn't it written on these forms? What is your intended major? I haven't decided yet. I want to follow the school's procedures and then choose after military training. How is your family's financial situation? How are your hobbies? Well, seeing Ji Yu Pan Pan checking the family background, Lin Yarong next to her was not happy. This dudin was clearly a prelude to finding trouble. I haven't even settled the matter with you yet, but you are already very red. He stepped forward and slapped the table. With a pop sound, a centimeter deep palm print was left on the table. Hey, you're just a student. You're just collecting forms on behalf of the academic affairs office. Why are you asking so many questions? Are you checking your household registration? Is this what you should ask? When Lin Yarong got angry, she immediately attracted the attention of everyone nearby. Gu Panpan raised his eyelids and glanced at Lin Yarong, and said unhurriedly, How can we allocate a dormitory to him without asking him about the situation? Our Demon Dan Academy is not your third war college. Everything here is focused on students. We give full consideration to each student's situation will be assigned, whether it's choosing a major or even choosing a dormitory. Lin Hao also felt like he was checking his household registration. Just as he was about to say something, Lin Yarong squeezed Lin Hao away and stood in the front confronting Gu Panpan at close range. What? You really think I don't know the situation of your Demon Dan Academy? 
you have no right to interfere in your choice of majors, the same goes for dormitories. Students have the right to choose. Anyway, Lin Yarong just didn't like the little girl in front of her and was inexplicably angry. Ji Yu Panpan said, We have many liberal arts majors, and each major is completely different. 99% of freshmen don't know which major is suitable for them, nor do they know which major they can be comfortable in. When considering majors in liberal arts, they consider personality, hobbies, interests, family situation, ideals and wishes, performance level, future development direction, etc. are considered in several aspects. If we don't ask more clearly, how can our student council give advice? Even in the dormitories here, we arrange people with similar personalities and interests together. It is easier to become good friends, good brothers, and good sisters. You don't have to worry about quarrels with roommates because of incompatibility and being unable to concentrate on studying. Do you think our liberal arts department is your martial arts department? On the first day of the martial arts department, it is normal for the senior students to go to the door of the freshman dormitory to grab keys and extort money. You martial arts department only need to think about how to fight, you have strong limbs and simple minds. You, Lin Yarong wanted to refute, but thinking about it carefully, she seemed unable to refute. What I said before seems to make sense, but it also feels like a lie. The last few sentences are even more irrefutable. On the first day of college, the sophomores came to snatch them away. Especially for the boys, the freshmen couldn't get the keys and couldn't even enter the dormitory door. Some people were not convinced and were beaten till their noses were bruised and their faces were swollen. But, Lin Yarong was not a vegetarian. On the first day of her freshman year, she almost killed several senior students who were blocking the door with a sword. If the instructor had not appeared in time, she might have been hacked to death on the spot. Just because she showed off the dragon tooth sword on the first day, the dean accepted her as a closed disciple that night. Thank you for your kindness. My Xiao Hao doesn't need any advice from you. He has been independent and independent since he was a child. He clearly knows what he likes and wants, and he also knows what he is best at. As for the dormitory, my Xiao Hao Hao doesn't need to think about roommates, because my little Hao lives by himself. Lin Yarong held her head high, looked at Ji Yu Pan Pan with her nostrils, and said calmly. Ji Yu Pan Pan was so angry that she even used her nostrils to look at people. However, the famous star is taller than him, even if he stands up, he can still only look at her nostrils. During the military training period, freshmen cannot apply for personal apartments temporarily and must live in temporary dormitories with other freshmen. After the military training is over, they will choose their major and then be assigned a dormitory. After three months of basic study, only those with excellent grades can apply for personal apartments, apartment. The corner of G.U. Panpan's mouth raised a proud smile. This is Moden Academy, one of the four major liberal arts schools. The rules are like this. It's not like the geniuses in the martial arts department can break the rules. Let's see how you break them. I'm sorry, Xiao Doubting, my Xiao Hao lives not in a private apartment, but in a villa, Lin Yarong said with a snort. Our Demons Academy does not have a villa area. Even the highest level professors or the children of the top 10 aristocratic families can only live in private apartments. Ji Yu Pan Pan thought that Lin Yarong was a fool and had no idea about the situation of Demons Academy. Lin Yarong said, Xiao Doubting, you don't know this, right? After saying that, a permission document was slapped on the table. Ji Yu Pan Pan quickly picked it up and took a look. This is the approval from the Academic Affairs Office of Moden University that Lin Hao does not need to participate in military training and can attend school instead of living on campus. How can it be? There are some day students, although not many, but they do exist. But there is no need to participate in military training. Ji Yu Pan Pan has never heard of anyone being treated like this. Lin Yarong twirled her hair with her fingers and said, Little doubting, our family bought a villa of several thousand square meters next to the school but we can't live in it. How can we squeeze into a four-person dormitory with you? Besides, there are people who don't participate in the liberal arts and military training every year. If you don't know, it just means you are not of good enough quality. Ji Yu Pan Pan understood that just because she hadn't heard of it didn't mean that she didn't have it. There was no need to publicize it everywhere if people didn't participate in military training. Lin Yarong must have used some connections. I heard that some time ago, this big star went to the imperial capital, and the ice emperor's escort captain personally went to pick him up. Not to mention that the chief of staff of the Western Front Operations Department and the head of the frontline medical base are the elders of her family. As long as the leader of the frontline medical base speaks in person, who dares not to agree? If you offend her, you will be injured on the battlefield in the future, 
and others will not treat you, or the treatment will be delayed, and your life will be in danger every minute. What? Liberal arts don't have to go to the battlefield? There are always people in the families of the leaders of Demon Dan Academy who take the martial arts route. Gu Panpan hates people who rely on backdoor relationships. HMPH, people are stupid and rely on connections to make money. So what? Blow. You, Gu Panpan didn't say the last word, you, she held it back. If I can't deal with you, I can't deal with your brother? There is ample time, after the admission procedures are completed. Lin Hao does not need to participate in military training or live on campus. During the military training, Lin Hao can rest at home. Before the military training is completed, the teaching office will notify Lin Hao to fill in the elective majors. After receiving your student ID card, you can go home. Lin Yarong went to get the professional introduction manual for Lin Hao, and Lin Hao went to line up to activate the student ID card. Damn it, this new student has 6,000 points on his ID. When the card issuing staff activated Lin Hao's student ID, his eyes widened and he poked the colleague next to him with his elbow. No way, there is a descendant of a noble family who only has 500 points in his ID. The colleague next to me just left a phone number with the young man from an aristocratic family and made an appointment to treat him to dinner after get off work. No, come and see, it's really 6,000 points. The young lady leaned over and took a look. Damn it, it was really 6,000 points. The two of them looked up at the new student in front of them, they had never heard of any aristocratic family named Lin. No matter what, it doesn't matter whether he is from aristocratic family or not, in addition to aristocratic family, there are also many rich and powerful people. Besides, the new student in front of him is quite pleasing to the eye and handsome. The two looked at each other, immediately retracted their shocked expressions, and then said, the card has been activated. However, since you have applied for a temporary card before, you need to review it. It may take two days before the card can be given to you. Please leave your phone number. Okay, I'll give you a call. This is a common trick used by the two of them. They leave the card first, ask for the phone number, and call to make an appointment after get off work. With such money, it should be no problem to go to some high-end places to spend money. The little boy is easier to coax, I say a few nice words, squeeze him, and buy everything. Lin Hao said, didn't we agree before that we only need to activate it? The temporary card does not open another number, it is just used in advance. The two girls were about to say something, but suddenly a hand stretched out from behind Lin Hao and held down the student card. Brother, what's going on? Lin Yarong had already received the professional introduction manual. It was actually just a five dimensional code, but it was not posted and the new students had to get it themselves. They said that I had applied for a temporary card before and it needed to be reviewed. They asked me to leave my phone number and notify me when it is ready in two days. Lin Hao repeated what the two said. Lin Yarong glanced sideways at the two staff members. They felt guilty on the spot and said, Ah, I just made a mistake. There was something wrong with the system. It's fine now. Just take the card and go back. Snort. Lin Yarong picked up the card, handed it to Lin Hao, and pulled Lin Hao out. After leaving the building, Lin Yarong took out the hoverbike, Lin Hao sat behind and hugged her waist, and left with a swipe. I also want to sit on the back of that motorcycle and hold the goddess's waist. Don't think so much, that's the kind of treatment only a younger brother can get. Do you think the two of them will have a sibling relationship? No, can both siblings fall in love? I seem to have heard that they are not biologically related. No way, tell me quickly what's going on, why are you so gossiping? The pair of girls next to them were chatting quietly just now, and many people nearby were discussing the siblings, it was quite high profile today. Not far away, Gu Panpan watched the two people leave on a suspended motorcycle, and began to think about what to do with Lin Hao. Senior sister, please accept a little bit of my kindness. The little fat man in front was holding a bouquet of flowers and following Gu Panpan, wanting to make friends with her. Gu Panpan looked back and said, what are we friends or not? We are also alumni after all. It is the relationship between seniors and juniors. The little fat man's eyes lit up, he had a chance. But Gu Panpan poured cold water on her again, but we are a sophomore and a freshman. I have to work on a project and you have to learn the basics. After a year, you may not even have the chance to say a few words, let alone meet each other. No different from strangers. The little fat man said quickly, Senior sister, I will make time to find you. Gu Panpan said, why are you so stupid? Those who can get into Magic Dan University shouldn't be so stupid. You should find a way to join my project team, and then apply to research as a research partner with me. 
so that we can see each other often. We have met more times, so we will become familiar with each other. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to apply now. I'll ask my family to help. Which project team are you in, senior? The little fat man nodded repeatedly. The senior actually taught him how to pick her up. He was really an angel on earth. I am in the undead gene research project team, G.U. Panpan said. When the little fat man heard this, his head got big. Before the start of school, he had carefully studied which professors in Demon Dan Academy were more powerful, which tutors were more popular, and which projects were more impressive. It can be said that the Undead Gene Project team is a top-notch project in the current Demon Dan Academy. It has no shortage of funds and has achieved remarkable results. It is pursued by many rich women and wealthy people. It is one of the facade projects of Modern Academy. This kind of project team, the little fat guy feels like he can't get in even if he has some connections at home, because there are so many special people who want to get in. G.U. Panpan saw that the little fat man had no choice. He raised the corners of his mouth and said with a smile. I think no matter what happens in the future, it is fate that we meet each other now. Senior sister, I am not a ruthless person. I will give you a chance. As long as you can get this person together to apply, and I guarantee that you will pass and enter the project team. The little fat man looked at the student information that G.U. Panpan showed. The name on it was very simple, just two words, Lin Hao. Okay, no problem, I'll do it now. Wait, senior sister, is what you said true? As long as this person applies for the project together with me, do you guarantee that I can pass it? G.U. Panpan thought to herself, she's not stupid, she knows how to record. The little fat man had secretly turned on the optical brain recording and even took a video. Yes, as long as you apply together with this person and make sure that he is willing to join the Undead Gene Research Project team, I guarantee that you can join the project team. But listen carefully, if he is unwilling to join, you secretly apply for him to fool him. I, I guarantee that your life will be worse than death. G.U. Panpan threatened the little fat man and said. The little fat man swallowed his saliva, gritted his teeth, damn, let's fight. Isn't it just to get someone to apply for the project team together? Who wouldn't want to join this kind of facade project team? He grabbed the information and left without looking back. In less than two seconds, he ran back again. Senior, you have to give me your phone number. Otherwise, what should I do if I can't find you when I apply? G.U. Panpan said, I can't give you my phone number for the time being, but I can give you my social account as a friend. After saying that, G.U. Panpan gave one of his social accounts to the little fat man. The little fat man took the account and added friends on the spot. One thought, wait for you to come in and see how I kill you. One thought, wait until I get in and see how I can pick you up. Lin Hao returned to the beach villa. The area here is small and it took more than half a month to be renovated. With the current level of technology, it is relatively slow to decorate a few hundred square meters in half a month. However, Lin Hao was quite satisfied with this design and decoration company because of the slow work and meticulous work. As for the villa in the university town, it will take half a month to be decorated. It's not as luxurious over there, mainly because the training room is more time consuming. On the way Lin Yarong sent Lin Hao back to the villa, she received a notice that there was an urgent mission and the championship team needed to set off immediately. The mission time could not be determined yet, it could be as short as half a month or as long as two months. I told my brother something, if you go back to school, you must bring the force armor with you to avoid any emergencies, such as a laboratory explosion or something. Just use the force armor without exposing your own death power. Lin Yarong bought a testing instrument to test Lin Hao privately, but it still failed to measure Lin Hao's power level, and even showed that he had no power. Lin Hao's superpower is currently registered in the school, which is an F-level enhanced body. I went to day school hard because I was worried that being crowded into a dormitory with my classmates would unknowingly expose the power of death. Next came some instructions to remember to eat when you are hungry and drink water when you are thirsty. Then Lin Yarong packed her luggage and went out to gather at school. When sending his sister out, Lin Hao felt as if he was sending his mother to work when he was a child. In his head, he unconsciously sang, Mom and Dad go to work, I go to kindergarten. Bah, I'm 18 and I'm still singing. I went back to the room, lay on the sofa, scanned the five-dimensional code on the professional introduction card, and started studying the majors of Demon Dan Academy. Modin University has 99 force science and technology majors, 53 first-level professional doctoral degree authorization points, 56 first-level professional master's degree authorization points, and 37 fixed long-term scientific research project laboratories. The scope covered is very wide, 
covering almost all disciplines of force technology. Lin Hao carefully read the introduction of each major and carefully selected the majors that would be most directly helpful to him. It didn't necessarily have to be a popular major, as long as it was helpful to his own strength. Lin Hao was first interested in the profession of making armors, he was excited just thinking about putting armors on skeletons. After careful observation, Lin Hao discovered that this is an interdisciplinary subject. To create a complete force armor, you need to learn mechanical structure design, force energy science, force mechanical principles, drawing, force materials science, fluid aerodynamics, force nanoscience. Lin Lin has more than a dozen majors. I feel dizzy. Why'd I feel like I couldn't learn these things even if I spent 24 hours a day in librarianship during my four years in college? Damn it, didn't Tony Stark in the movie create a nano suit with a double degree in electrical engineering and physics? Why does the force armor here require more than a dozen professional linkages to barely create it? The majors listed above do not include the AI intelligent core that drives the entire armor. The core of AI intelligence is another interdisciplinary subject, and it can only be completed by the joint efforts of more than a dozen majors. No wonder a suit of armor is so expensive. With such a high level of technology, it's strange that it's not expensive. Forget it, go look at biology. Biology, also called the science of otherworldly creatures, studies all kinds of monsters, even the old ones. In this subject, people die every year, especially those who study the old ones, they are either crazy or stupid. All the information on the old ones now is a large amount of information slowly accumulated by scholars and students in this subject who have sacrificed their lives for more than 400 years, they are extremely precious. Lin Hao felt that this subject was interesting and he could consider it. The old ones were their own enemies, both personally and morally. Only by knowing enough about the enemy can we defeat the enemy. Finally, there is another major that Lin Hao is also extremely interested in, which is otherworldly geology. This is a relatively small interdisciplinary subject, including resource science, alien climate, alien geology, etc. The huge area currently under the control of the UED government has many dimensional cracks. After entering each dimensional crack, there is a stable dimensional passage. After passing through the passage, you will reach a different world. Those different worlds are all independent worlds, some big and some small. The smallest alien world known so far is only as big as Africa. The largest known alien world has launched a satellite into space, and 10 years of Earth time have passed, and it has not yet come back. You know, with force technology, it only takes about 30 minutes for a near-Earth satellite to circle the Earth. The dimensional cracks in the jurisdiction have all been blocked by the UED, and extremely powerful barriers have been set up to block them. The monsters there are no longer able to come back through this channel. But humans can get through it. The barrier is set by humans themselves, so there is no problem. The different world behind the dimensional rift is extremely rich in minerals, organisms, liquids, gases and other resources, which are in urgent need of development. To put it bluntly, it means exploring different worlds, finding various resources, ascertaining the resource situation, and then reporting it to the government, or aristocratic families, or group companies. If it is worth developing, they will organize an army expedition to seize the territory and then excavate the resources. This is why UED must go to other worlds. At present, UED does not have many other worlds under its control. The National Awakening Plan is really urgent, and the manpower is really far from enough. There are a lot of other worlds behind dimensional cracks that need people to explore. Therefore, this major is in great need of talents, and they often cooperate with Wu Kei and form teams to explore together. But we often encounter troubles. Sometimes we get some precious samples, but accidentally stab the monster's nest with multiple hands. We can only send the news back and then the UED government arranges personnel to rescue according to the preciousness of the samples. Lin Yarong's mission this time was just like this. In a small alien world where the maximum level of monsters is 60, someone dug up precious minerals and found a vein, but they were surrounded by monsters. This major is good. I can explore by myself, or even open a company to mine resources by myself. Lin Hao looked through all the majors and found that this one was the most suitable. He could go out to level up, explore other worlds, and find treasures to make a fortune. Kill three birds with one stone. Others, including runes, blacksmithing, etc., also have some interest, but not much. If you have free time, you can go and listen to it to increase your knowledge and experience. Mainly, alien geology is the most suitable. I just chose this, and I will sign up for this major after the military training is over. In the next month, 
I will go to the small secret realm to continue to improve my proficiency. I went there for 40 days in a row, spending 100 points every day, and swiping through the small secret realms six times, each time for an hour, and I was as tired as a dog. While the proficiency of each skill increased rapidly, 240 light groups were accumulated. This is a huge fortune. Lin Hao worked hard to clear the small secret realm just because the light group could unlock equipment. It can make money and increase strength. Taking advantage of the fact that there was nothing to do now, Lin Hao took out 40 light balls. This is done after promotion. Although the level is still level 20, it is different after promotion and before promotion. Status bar opens. Lin Hao opened the status bar, picked up a light ball, and pinched it. Gifts from Nephilim, you can choose rewards from them. Reward 1. Obtain an ancient legendary equipment. Reward 2. Absorb its energy and obtain information on the evolution of the power of death. Um, can you also absorb energy to obtain information on the evolution of the power of death? This is estimated to be a promotion to level 40. I wonder if the cracking progress of a light group is less than 0.01%. I thought so in my heart, and at the same time I clicked on reward too. Crack failed, insufficient level. When this sentence popped up in the dialog box, the light ball in his hand also disappeared. Oh no, since the level is not enough, why did you eat my light ball? I am an ancient legendary equipment. Lin Hao didn't understand why he just thought about it in his mind and clicked his hands. Forget it, I won't argue with a dead plugin, it's just a ball of light, just treat it as a reward. Pick up another light ball. This time I saw it clearly, choose reward one. Gift failed, um, excuse, gifts can fail, are you kidding me? Lin Hao didn't understand, didn't it mean getting an ancient legendary equipment, how could this fail? Wasn't it good before? Lin Hao stared at the plugin's dialog box, always feeling that this guy was born conscious. Otherwise, it worked fine before. How could it fail now? Try again. Pick up another light group and choose reward one. Gift failed, F asterisk K. Are you fooling me? Lin Hao couldn't help but curse. There was no response from the plugin, and the dialog box still had the same four words, but at the same time, a green light came on Lin Hao's head to calm him down. I don't believe it, Lin Hao frantically pinched the balls of light, one after another. Gift failed, gift failed, gift failed. 39 shots in a row all failed, no consolation prize. I'm your sister, at least tell me the reason for the failure. Do you know how many points these 39 light groups cost me? These are money, money, brother, you don't need to eat and drink, I want to eat and drink. After Lin Hao finished cursing, the green light came again. His whole body seemed to be soaked in zero degrees Celsius ice water, and his head had never been so clear-headed. Well, maybe just like the previous cracking progress, the further back you go, the more light clusters you need, or pinch two at a time. After thinking about it, he did it. He took out two light groups from the storage halo, one on each side, and pinched them. Well, it feels good. Gift failed, or failed. It makes no sense. Has this thing become a lottery mode now? However, if it is a lottery, you at least have a chance. No, probability is of no use. It should be said that there is an explanation of winning. How much is the minimum bet and so on. Two more. Gift failed. Quit. Lin Hao didn't want to be fooled anymore. This damn cheat was a ripoff even in competition with Shishi. There wasn't even an explanation. Pin Shishi at least has an explanation to coax you. Lin Hao turned off the plug-in and lay on the sofa, thinking, what should he do this month? There is no need for military training. Aunt Fu Yayu was worried that her previous illness was not cured. The military training was exposed to the sun and rain, and she was afraid that it would relapse, so she wrote a certificate to prove it. The students will start military training tomorrow, sweating in the sun and washing away their youthful vitality. Should I also find something to do? During the military training, you are not allowed to go to the small secret area of the temple, otherwise you will be seen and reported, which will not look good. Otherwise, go to the border to level up. By the way, can I take on some tasks of killing monster corpses and earn some points? This seems good. I'll go to the government hall and trading floor tomorrow to see if there are any bounty tasks I can do. It would be best if you can encounter the kind of mission that kills undead creatures like last time. Just as he was about to go out, a strange phone call came in. Who could it be? He answered the phone and asked, Hello, who is this? Hello, is this Lin Hao? A strange male voice came from the other side. Yes, that's right. Who are you? Lin Hao heard that the voice on the other side was probably about the same age as himself. It's like this. 
I am a recruiter for the Undead Gene Research Project team of Demon Dan University. After reading your admission resume, I feel that you are very suitable for the field staff position of our project team. Are you interested in finding out more about it, Mr. Lin? The tone of the person speaking was a bit formal and a bit bureaucratic. But Lin Hao's first reaction was fraud. Unexpectedly, just after enrolling and submitting the information, a scam phone call came. He also named someone by name, which shows that there is someone selling information in the school's reference room. Reported, not interested in. After saying that, I immediately hung up the phone. Wait, wait, classmate Lin, you may have misunderstood something. Maybe you can check first, the relevant information about the Undead Gene Research Project of Demon Dan University. This is public information. You can find it on the official website of Demon Dan University. You can check it online. You check it first and I will call you later. Then you can decide whether you want to join our project team as a field worker. The person opposite has a good temper and a kind voice. Does Lin Hao think the liars in this world are so qualified? Well, since I'm not looking at the link you sent, there's nothing wrong with checking it out. After hanging up the phone, Lin Hao checked online. First, search on social forums. If it is a scam, someone will definitely complain about their experience of being deceived. The omnipotent netizen will distinguish the true from the false for him. Lin Hao searched the internet for the Demonic University Undead Gene Research Project, and hundreds of thousands of relevant information popped up, including a large number of visited topics and a large number of discussions. Things like eternal youth, immortality, and even allowing humans to evolve into high-latitude creatures, etc., are all words of praise. The research was originally started by Mr. Tong Zhaotan, a famous super professor of biology at Moden University, who compared the differences in the genetic profiles of undead creatures and non-undead creatures, hoping to find out the weaknesses of undead creatures at the genetic level. Just touching the threshold, before entering, it has been discovered that a certain gene particle of the undead creature is transplanted into the devil tree, which will cause the devil tree to mutate. The fruit produced contains telomerase that can be absorbed by humans. It can be extracted and made. A drug that can stop human aging. When this discovery was patented, it caused a sensation in the upper class society. The idea of stopping aging and staying young forever made a large number of noble ladies go crazy and invest in project teams. Now three other universities have also launched undead gene research projects, causing the price of undead monsters to rise again and again, whether they are living creatures or corpses. This kind of project team is not short of money at all, but they are short of immortal monsters to research. There are people with supernatural powers who form an adventure team for money, go to Europe to attack vampire nobles, and kidnap the vampire nobles back. It angered the vampire known as the true ancestor and almost triggered a wave of beasts to attack the border. Fortunately, pharmacist Liu Li, one of the three marshals, happened to be visiting the western front line for condolences and inspection. After the fight, the true ancestor was defeated and retreated, and the beast wave did not break out. Holy shit, Master Liu Li, the pharmacist who is known as the most handsome monk in the entire alliance and one of the three marshals, actually had a fight with the true ancestor of the vampire? Lin Hao hurriedly searched to see if there was a video of the fight between the pharmacist Liu Li and the vampire ancestor completely forgetting to inquire about the project team. Lin Hao found many videos taken by border residents that day. But they are all blurry. After all, the border residents did not dare to get close. They were all taken from dozens or hundreds of kilometers away using telescopes and camera equipment. In these videos, you can only see two dots moving quickly, and then there is a lot of dust in the sky, and there are various strange phenomena erupting inside, resulting in even lower definition. After searching for a long time, I finally found some videos taken at close range by a guy who is not afraid of death. The terrain in the center of the battle has changed. Countless hills and trees have risen from the ground. A living forest has been created in the area between the two seas to the west of the Black Sea and to the east of the Mediterranean Sea. However, even with the video from the closest distance, the appearance of the true ancestor vampire was still unclear. Lin Hao doesn't want to see the monk medicine master Liu Li. What does it have to do with me whether he is handsome or not? I am neither a monk nor a woman. Lin Hao wanted to see the true ancestor of the vampire. I don't know why, but I'm just very interested, or maybe it's because everyone is a member of the undead. Hey, it's a pity, it's all a bunch of black shadows. It's not clear whether they are male or female, ugly or beautiful. Lin Hao decided to give up looking for the video again. Now, unlike in the past, you had to rely on accurate keywords and license plate numbers to find short videos. With the assistance of intelligent optical brain, 
as long as you are not mute or stuttering, the intelligent optical brain can translate unencrypted videos on the internet for you within 10 seconds, come out. Then perform precise screening according to your requirements. Therefore, the clearest video is already in front of you, and there is no point in looking for it. At this moment, the unknown phone number from before called again. Lin Hao responded, for no reason, he just wanted to hear what tricks this guy used to defraud. Hey, classmate Lin, I believe you have already checked the information about our undead gene research project, right? It was the same boy's voice on the other side. It makes sense to think about it, how could the fraudsters change people at will? Already checked. Lin Hao answered simply. Now that you've checked, are you interested in joining the field position of the project team? The person asked. I'm a little bit interested, but I want to ask, why should I, a freshman, join such an important star project? Strictly speaking, I just became a student of Moden Academy today, and I haven't even taken a basic class, Lin Hao said. No problem. I've seen your admission file. Your cultural score is not very high, but you have a martial arts score bonus. I checked and found that you are a member of the team of Li Yunji, the top scorer in the martial arts examination. You must also be very strong. Awesome, at least in our liberal arts college, you are definitely the best. Look, you are already at level 20, and there are so many liberal arts freshmen who are not even at level 10. The field staff of our project are in great need of talents like you. Organizing people to capture or hunt undead creatures still requires certain skills. Of course, the heavy work is done by those in the martial arts department. Your main task is on site supervision and command, and finally responsible for transporting undead creatures or corpses back. The explanation is very detailed and barely reasonable. However, Lin Hao felt that this guy must be a fraudster because he had serious misunderstandings about liberal arts. Except for the stick stall, which is so violent that it can self destruct, and force equipment cannot do anything about it, the other undead monsters can be organized by the Liberal Arts Institute to capture or kill them. Force equipment is not just for display. In terms of capturing methods, there are also mid range attacks, long range blocking, and force equipment even have more advantages than superpowers. All kinds of capture props and various blocking weapons are only what you can't imagine, and no technology can't create them. Before the superpower could see where the opponent was, the nano generated sniper gun was aimed by AI and blasted away with one shot. Everyone was a sharpshooter who could kill the ghost with one shot from 800 miles away. So, the field staff of the project team asked students from the martial arts department to perform tasks? Do you look down on the funding of the undead gene research project team? Armed with two standard teams of five people, the project team has sufficient funds. Okay, I understand. How much is the application fee, or how much is the registration fee? Lin Hao got straight to the point, because after the fraudster explained the reason and the temptation was in place, he would naturally start asking for money. I was too lazy to wait for him to offer any tempting conditions. Anyway, the biggest temptation was to join the project team and directly talk about the money issue for him. Application fee? Registration fee? Ha ha ha, student Lin, you may have misunderstood, there are no such things. Oh, no money? It's very tempting, but it's a pity. I plan to choose alien geology, Lin Hao said. So the liar must be in a hurry, just to see how anxious he is. Geology, I read it right. Student Lin, you have an adventurous heart, are unwilling to be ordinary, and yearn for freedom. That's why it is even more important for you, student Lin, to choose our program, the boy said. Why? Lin Hao asked. Your elective geology doesn't even conflict with our project at all. After all, you are a field worker. Geology needs to go out for inspections, and our field workers also need to go out for inspections. It just happens to be on the way, killing two birds with one stone, the boy explained. This was so true that Lin Hao didn't know how to answer it, but. No, no, I won't come again when you have the opportunity. Come over to me now and fill out the application form, the boy said. Damn it, how dare a liar come face to face. Think about it or forget it, there will be no such good things in this world, pie in the sky will not fall. I don't have time. Money is tight recently. I'm going to take on a task to make some extra money. That's it. Lin Hao was about to hang up. This liar didn't follow the routine and didn't even mention a dime. He couldn't do anything about it. Answer the call. Taking tasks to make extra money. What a waste of time. If the task is not done well, the time and capital may be lost. You fill out the application form now, and I will give you money. The boy said something that surprised Lin Hao. Are today's liars so ruthless? Don't charge money, but give money away? 
Could it be that he couldn't bear to let go of the child and couldn't trap the wolf? It's right to think about it, it's now Force Era 444, and the one in northern Myanmar is already hundreds of years behind. I really want to know how he deceived people next, did he trick people into going to the scene, knocking them out, or kidnapping them? Seeing that Lin Hao didn't reply, the boy said, if it's inconvenient for you to come over, just give me your social account, I will add you as a friend, and send you the application form. You fill it out, authenticate it, and send it to me. Lin Hao was speechless, he suddenly wanted to know how this liar defrauded money. Okay, please remember my social media account, Chaoxin, the account is, Puji709394. Yes, I have already written it down. I will remember to pass it later. My account number is, Panai520. After saying that, the phone hung up. Within three seconds of Lin Hao hanging up the phone, that person sent a friend request. Just like his own, it was a small account. It was right when he thought about it. How could a scammer give him a large account? Fortunately, I also gave him a small account. After passing the application form, the application form will be sent to you. Click on it and it will have an intelligent anti-counterfeiting electronic stamp from the project team. So realistic, today's liars are really powerful. Let's see what tricks you play later. Lin Hao filled out the application form and sent it over. Two days later Lin Hao had already chosen the mission, was ready to take it, and then set off for the northern border. As a result, before accepting the task, the account named Panai 520 inches that I added that day sent a written notice agreeing to join the project team. Oh, as expected, we still have to meet and kidnap him in the end? This is too untechnical. Just after I said this in my heart, a private message was sent to the official account of the school, just a few seconds apart. Lin Hao opened it and saw, oh my god, it was the notification of agreeing to join the project team just now. Lin Hao was also asked to report to the project team in the afternoon. The address of the project team was sent to him. Lin Hao checked it and found that it was on the 14th floor of experimental building number 3 of Demon Academy. No way, are you really attracted by such a top project team and joined the project? Is this something that many students majoring in biogenetics dream of? The notice sent by the school's official account cannot be ignored. Let's go and see what's going on. Lin Hao gave up taking the task and went back to school. In the afternoon, the 14th floor of experimental building number 3 of Moden Academy. Lin Hao used the five-dimensional code on the notice issued by the official account to directly swipe the elevator to the 14th floor. The entire 14th floor was dedicated to the Undead Gene Research Project team and it was now run like a business by G.U. Panpan. When he got out of the elevator, he saw a glass door and rang the doorbell. Who are you looking for? The lady at the front desk asked through the intercom. I received a notice to report to the project team, Lin Hao said into the intercom. The young lady at the front desk opened the door, asked Lin Hao to come in, filled out the visitor form, and then asked Lin Hao to sit aside and wait. Also waiting on the sofa next to me was a little fat man. The two looked at each other, smiled and nodded to each other as a sign of politeness. Lin Hao felt that this little fat man was a bit kind, but he didn't remember where he had seen him before. During lunch, Lin Hao checked the Undead Gene Research Project team and found that there was indeed a field post for the project team and it was indeed recruiting people. In line with the idea that maybe everyone will be colleagues in the future, it is still necessary to build a good relationship. Lin Hao stretched out his hand to say hello to the little fat man. Hello. My name is Lin Hao, Lin from the forest, Ri Tianhao. The little fat man shook hands quickly, nodded and said with a smile, Hello, hello, my name is Huang Liger, Yellow Huang, Liger Liger. What a domineering name, you are more domineering. Why does your voice feel familiar? Really, I also think you are kind-hearted, have you seen him somewhere? Huang Lihu looked sincere, as if he was really thinking about where the two of them had met. Lin Hao really felt that he had heard this guy's voice somewhere, and he had serious doubts, he silently dialed the number that had been called to recruit him before. The little fat man's phone didn't ring, but he was sweating, all over his back. Although Lin Hao was suspicious, he couldn't be sure because if it was the boy, he should be a member of the project team and not doing the field interview with him. Besides, I filled out the application form that day, and the trumpet account named Panai520 transferred 1 million to me. Although it's not much, it's really money, however, the sound really sounded like, could it be that some of his brothers and cousins were in the project team? Although there were no flaws on Huang Liger's face, he was already sweating on his back, and half of his heart was in his throat. Inside the project team, in the administrative director's office, 
Ji Yu Pan Pan looked at the screen. On the screen was a picture of Lin Hao and Huang Shihu sitting on the sofa next to the front desk. The position of administrative director of key projects should not have been Ji Yu Pan Pan's turn. However, this project team did not have much funding at the beginning, so it relied on Ji Yu Pan Pan to find his own brother to work and hunt some undead creatures, and this led to various patented achievements. Except last time, Ji Yu Yang Wu's fire attribute power couldn't do anything to the stick stall, so he had to ask others to do it. Therefore, Professor Tong likes Ji Yu Pan Pan very much, as an assistant, Ji Yu Pan Pan's ability to do things is indeed good, but his personality is a bit impatient. Over and over again, Ji Yu Pan Pan is now the big housekeeper of the project team, with great power. Originally, Ji Yu Pan Pan was just doing it accidentally on a whim, but he didn't expect that this little fat guy would really succeed in tricking Lin Hao into applying to join the project team. There is only one official position available, and many juniors and seniors are eyeing it. So Ji Yu Pan Pan gave the two of them the status of interns. They were field workers anyway and had no access to what was going on in the laboratory. They had no influence on any results. Those seniors who were juniors and seniors would not say anything. The so called field service is to help GU Pan Pan. If you can't buy things on the trading floor, you can only go hunting with these field workers. It went too smoothly. I don't really believe that he really wants to join the project team. Although our project team is indeed very popular, it is more likely because Huang Li Hu deceived him. The best thing is to let him listen to a professor's lecture and let him be impressed by the professor's charm or attracted by the subject content. After he is officially confirmed to join, he will immediately arrange to go out hunting. By then, the project performance scores will not be left to me to doodle at will, ha ha ha. Let's see how you graduate, Ji Yu Pan Pan's eyes glowed viciously. Soon, the front desk received Ji Yu Pan Pan's notice and said to Lin Hao and Huang Shihu, two students, according to the regulations of our project team, all new students who join the project team must first attend at least one children's class. Professor Tong's open class. Please move to classroom 1314, teaching building number 2. Professor Tong's first open class of this semester will begin soon. Lin Hao thought to himself, such a weird rule, but it seems quite reasonable, if you can't listen to the lectures given by the professor who is leading the research, you won't be able to stay even if the project becomes more popular. Because you are an outsider here, a complete outsider. Okay, I'll go there now. Lin Hao and Huang Shihu accepted the request and immediately rushed to teaching building number two. Fortunately, teaching building number two is not far from experimental building number three. Generally, professors who have research projects will not go to teaching buildings that are too far away for classes. This is a waste of professors' time. When they found classroom 1314, Professor Tong was already preparing to start class. Lin Hao and Huang Shihu hurried in through the back door. Classroom 1314 can accommodate more than 200 students. Today is Professor Tong's first class of the semester. It is a discussion class, but it is still full. Lin Hao and Huang Shihu couldn't find seats, so they could only stand in the back with other students and listen. On the blackboard, AI marked today's topic, the differences, advantages and disadvantages between creatures from other worlds and humans. Professor Tong on the podium was debugging the equipment. Lin Hao looked at Professor Tong and had a very good impression. He is affable, his smile is warm and sincere, his dress is simple and exquisite, he is calm and confident, and his every move is elegant and approachable. That white hair gives people a majestic and solemn feeling. In Lin Hao's view, Professor Tong's white hair symbolizes wisdom, experience and profound knowledge. Dear classmates, today is my first public discussion class of the semester. Before the official class, we must first apologize to the great biologists of the old scientific society. Because my project is based on the denial of their cognition. A student below jokingly said, Professor Tong, if you post this sentence on the internet, you may be labeled as a rebellious person by the majority of netizens. The classmates all laughed, and Professor Tong also smiled, not caring at all. Whether it is the old technological society or the current era of the force, if we do not dare to maintain a certain degree of doubt about authority, then technology and civilization will never progress. The truth is meant to be broken, Professor Tong said. Under the podium, many students agreed with this statement. Lin Hao also nodded in agreement. Only by breaking old conventions and common sense can scholars promote the development of science and technology and civilization. There are many such illusions. For example, Copernicus' heliocentric theory overturned the geocentric theory, greatly promoted the development of astronomy, and completely revolutionized astronomy. Professor Tong started his speech. 
In the old technological society, there were many countries, reaching about 200. No matter how different the cultures and customs of these countries were, everyone had a common view. They believed that human beings are the sons of God, and that God has selfish motives for human beings. If you ask, how can we prove that God has selfish motives for mankind? The answer of the ancestors is very simple. If God has no selfish motives, why are there so many living things from ancient times to the present, but we humans are the only ones who know how to make and use tools? Only we humans have learned how to produce and use fire? Only we humans have developed civilization? Some scholars once proposed that human beings can have a brilliant civilization because of one coincidence plus miracle after another, and then evolved step by step. But if we think about it, why didn't the dinosaurs, the giant lizards that dominated ancient times for 160 million years, evolve civilization? Or you might say that dinosaurs were civilized and very advanced, it's a pity that they were extinct. A huge meteorite destroyed the advanced civilization they established, leaving not even a trace of civilization. Suppose the dinosaurs had civilization, and just one meteorite destroyed their civilization. Can we say that this civilization did not receive the favor of God? So in such a large universe, there was just such a meteorite that fell on the blue star at that time. Look at us humans again. With the emergence of the old rulers and the emergence of countless monsters, we were almost wiped out, but suddenly the force revived and powers awakened. Our scientists seemed to have suddenly enlightened, and the force technology took over, they were all invented the same way, and in the end our civilization not only continued, but also went a step further. Can we say that compared to the civilization of the dinosaurs, our human civilization has been favored by God? When the students in the audience heard this, they began to whisper and discuss. It seemed like this. This is what the history books said. Humanity was almost completely wiped out. Suddenly, the force revived, artifacts descended from the sky, and scientists of that era suddenly it dawned on me that the principles of force technology were developed in just a few years. Professor Tong. Some students in the audience raised their hands. Professor Tong nodded for him to ask questions. Professor Tong, I heard that the old rulers were gods and many monsters were their creations, is this true? As soon as this question was raised, someone immediately yelled, This is the heresy of Eod. Are you a believer in Eod? Then many people pointed at the student just now, and rumors were about to appear. Professor Tong waved his hands to silence everyone, and then said, This classmate statement is not a heresy of Eod. This statement is based on long-term research in our biology, and we have determined that the old rulers are indeed gods, but they are not our world. Gods, so we in the academic world call them alien gods. It's just that EOD often talks about this, so those who don't know the truth think it's their heresy. For a moment, the audience was in an uproar. Professor Tong continued to silence everyone and said, There is only one heresy of EOD. The alien gods are gods visible to the naked eye. Humans should fall into the arms of gods and regain their favor. After all, alien gods are also gods. The topic I am talking about today is comparing humans with the various monsters today, which one is better and which one is worse. We have to prove that we humans are stronger than those monsters. Next, Professor Tong began to introduce the characteristics of currently known monsters. There are 32.68 million known monsters, which have a complete classification system. Current science divides monsters into two categories, primary monsters and epigenetic monsters. Among them, Epigenetic monsters are divided into two types, lateral monsters and real monsters. Lateral monsters refer to single-cell monsters, low-level ones such as slimes, and high-level ones even include the old ones, such as seedot. True monsters refer to multicellular monsters, which are divided into bilaterally symmetrical monsters and radially symmetrical monsters. Then there are hundreds or thousands of categories, such as protomyth monsters, deuterostome monsters, tentacle monsters, etc. Professor Tong also listed the changes in human beings after the age of force, mainly in terms of supernatural powers and civilization, and then compared the advantages and disadvantages of monsters from other worlds with humans. Lin Hao is not very interested in these contents, because they are all published results of force biology, and Professor Tong is just giving a summary for everyone. Lin Hao discovered a problem from what Professor Tong just said, comparing the advantages and disadvantages between humans and various monsters today. Since the old ones are the creators of monsters, humans have paid a heavy price to defeat the old ones in the old scientific society. Since the gods of those monsters have been defeated by humans, we still need to compare the superiority and inferiority between humans and these monsters. You've already killed the gods, and you're still comparing yourself to gods' creations? 
What's more, humans now have supernatural powers plus force technology. This power, which was called fantasy plus science fiction in the old scientific society, is still compared with monsters. Isn't this lowering yourself? Lin Hao estimated from Professor Tong's opening topic that Professor Tong might want to say that humans are no longer the only creatures favored by God. Powerful monsters from other worlds are also creatures favored by God. They are also favored by the gods of their own world. Who is more powerful? This is the point where Professor Tong wants to get to the point. But the classmate who raised his hand and the classmate who yelled led to the old ones in EOD. Professor Tong immediately avoided the topic and hurriedly started the next step. However, before Lin Hao had time to think about the reason, Professor Tong mentioned something that interested Lin Hao extremely. The above is the current detailed classification of monsters. No matter how they are classified, monsters have one characteristic, that is, they are some kind of living creatures, including humans. But there is a kind of monster. They are very special. They have no heartbeat, no pulse, no body temperature, no core, and some even have dry flesh and blood. They do not have any known life characteristics, but they are alive and kicking, immortal, and have their own thoughts, and ability. They exist because of some mysterious power. Although this power is very strange, I am sure that this power does not belong to any known old rulers. Except for a very small part, even monsters, most of them do not be willing to deal with them. These creatures, we specifically classify as a species, are called the undead. I have been thinking, if we can understand this power and utilize this power, can we humans go further? Exploring this unknown is the direction of my main research now? Speaking of this, Lin Hao was greatly surprised. Finally, I met someone who could realize the existence of the power of immortality. Professor Tong, do you really think those undead creatures exist because of some mysterious power? After class, Lin Hao caught up with Professor Tong and asked as he returned to experimental building number 3. Huang Liger kept following behind without saying anything. To be precise, it should be that he didn't dare to say too much in front of Lin Hao because he was really afraid of being recognized. It's not yet officially joining the project team it still needs final approval from the project administrator. Professor Tong turned around and asked Lin Hao, this classmate, I don't think I've seen you before? Lin Hao said, Professor Tong, I am a newly hired field staff member of the project team and a freshman this year. I just sat in on your class and I was shocked by the topic of undead creatures you mentioned at the end. There are actually monsters and the old ones have nothing to do with it. Professor Tong looked at Lin Hao and said with a smile, didn't the freshmen start their military training today? Lin Hao scratched his head, my sister said I don't need military training. Professor Tong didn't ask who Lin Hao's sister was. Anyway, it must be related, he had seen a lot of these people. Some were just trash waiting to die, while others were extremely motivated. They were a group with a big gap between the upper and lower limits. Well, let's put it this way, in fact, many monsters have nothing to do with the old dominators, or most of them have nothing to do with them. If we insist on having anything to do with them, we can only say that the dimensional channels opened by the old dominators allow these monsters to if you have the chance, you will come to us illegally, Professor Tong said. Lin Hao was stunned. Professor Tong, didn't you just say that the old ones were the creators of those monsters? Professor Tong said, you were not paying attention to the lecture just now. What I said is that some monsters are the creations of the old ones, just some, not all. In fact, there are not many monsters created by the old ones. At least we didn't find too many, most of the monsters are stowaways. Lin Hao said, I blame me for not paying attention to the lecture, but it doesn't matter. What I am more interested in are undead creatures, are they really immortal? Professor Tong said, At least there are no undead creatures that have died naturally. Of course, their living standards are different from those of ordinary monsters. Even if they are killed, under certain conditions, they can be resurrected intact. Lin Hao asked, Professor Tong, I have a question. You just said that undead creatures have their own thoughts and abilities. If they are killed and then resurrected, will they still be the same undead creatures? Have their thoughts changed? We how to distinguish between the undead creature after resurrection and the one before? Well, this involves aspects such as the soul, memory, etc. It is not yet certain that the resurrected undead are the same undead. This question is not the direction of Professor Tong's current research and cannot be answered for the time being. Lin Hao continued to ask, Professor Tong, can undead creatures reproduce? If possible, they would be immortal and resurrected. Wouldn't there be undead creatures everywhere? Professor Tong smiled and said, Your question is very interesting, but it also gets to the point. Normally, undead creatures cannot reproduce. 
even the most self-aware vampires cannot have children and can only transform other creatures into children. One part, but there are also special cases. Lin Hao asked, is it the Styx doll? Well, that's right. The Styx doll can be born from the Styx water. In addition to natural birth, it can also go through some strange shamanic rituals, Professor Tong replied. Lin Hao said, that's it. No wonder they are called Styx dolls, because they are little ghosts conceived by the Styx. Last time I saw them up close, they were dead and not dead, except they couldn't move. Oh, have you seen the Styx doll up close? Professor Tong asked. Yes, my sister's uncle brought back several intact corpses of Styx dolls last time, and I even touched them, Lin Hao said deliberately. Professor Tong looked like this, no wonder, it was probably fate. At this time, we just arrived at experimental building number three. Professor Tong asked Lin Hao to come up with him and sit down in the office. He had some information to show him. Huang Lihu, who followed behind without saying a word, entered the project office and ran to Ji Yu Pan Pan to claim credit. All I can think about is that my senior should agree to have dinner with me and go on a date. In Professor Tong's office, Lin Hao was sitting on the sofa, waiting for Professor Tong to sort out some information. After a while, Professor Tong sorted out the information, came to the reception sofa, sat next to Lin Hao, and handed the information to Lin Hao. Lin Hao opened it and looked at it, there was information about a monster named the Mother of Evil. This monster is a demon-like monster. It looks similar to the demons described in those literary works, Professor Tong said. Lin Hao asked, Professor Tong, aren't you studying undead creatures? This Mother of Evil doesn't seem to be undead. Professor Tong said, it is indeed not an undead creature. This kind of monster only has females, its number is relatively rare, and its strength is not very good. Its only characteristic is that it is particularly fertile. Just like the queen of ants, if it is in a comfortable environment and has food, source, it can produce as many monsters as a city. Some time ago, there was important news. In a highly explored alien world, someone discovered that there was a small amount of underworld water flowing in an underground cave. There was an evil mother living there who drank the underworld water and gave birth to undead creatures. Lin Haojung was wondering, how did that person know that the evil mother gave birth to undead creatures? At this time, Professor Tong asked the optical brain to play the video. This was the video where the evil mother was found drinking the water from the underworld. In the last few dozen seconds of the video, the ugly evil mother gave birth to a monster with her belly wide open and then gave birth to a baby, little monster. You can clearly see that this is the Styx doll, although the appearance is a little different from the ones Lin Hao saw last time, and slightly different from the videos and photos on the internet, anyone who sees this monster will think that it is the Styx doll. Lin Hao carefully identified the video and confirmed that it was a Styx doll, but a mutant. I can't give you an accurate answer to your previous question right now. Although it's just a video, there are also undead creatures that are suspected to be able to reproduce naturally. This video has been identified by AI and there are no traces of modification or editing, Professor Tong said. Lin Hao could only say that the world was full of wonders, and an ordinary monster gave birth to an undead creature. But Lin Hao still holds a skeptical attitude, only by seeing it with his own eyes can he be 100% sure. Dong dong dong, there was a knock on the door. Come in, Professor Tong said. The door opened and Ji Yu Pan Pan came in with the information. When Lin Hao saw her, his head got big. But Ji Yu Pan Pan completely ignored Lin Hao, as if he had never seen this person before, and directly gave the information to Professor Tong and said, Professor Tong, the evil mother beast core that I bought cannot be combined with the genes of undead creatures, nor can it be combined with the genes of undead creatures. There are no chemical or physical reactions to the underworld water. I think we need to organize people to go directly to other worlds to capture the evil mother. Professor Tong thought for a moment and said, Okay. That other world has a high degree of exploration, a relatively low level of danger, and the monster levels are generally not high, so you can catch them. After saying that, Professor Tong smiled at Lin Hao and said, Are you newly hired field staff interested in taking a trip? There are not many opportunities like this. Lin Hao only spent five seconds thinking and agreed on the spot. Five sets of armor, no more, no, the minimum is 15 sets, this is my bottom line. Lin Hao and Ji Yu Pan Pan were bargaining in her office. The field staff of the project team are essentially hired hunters who are mainly paid for. Lin Hao agreed to work as a field worker in the project team. Firstly, as long as there were tasks here, he would give priority to his own field workers and the fee paid was not bad. Secondly, he wanted to know how far Professor Tong would go in his research on undead creatures. 
Lin Hao himself also wanted to know more about undead creatures. The mission this time is to capture the evil mother in the video. There is no requirement to capture the Styx doll cub. After all, this thing will self destruct at the touch of a touch and is very violent. There is no way to know which other worlds such disgusting monsters like the evil mother came from. They have been found in many other worlds currently explored, and these other worlds are completely incompatible. The mission destination is a different world numbered E18, which requires passing through a dimensional passage. E18, as the name suggests, is the 18th E level monster. The strength of monsters is generally relatively low, which is approximately equivalent to level 30. Lin Hao, who has been promoted to level 20 and has an F level enhanced ability on the surface, can easily complete this task as long as he puts on the force armor. Gu Panpan Pan directly used the old model of the force armor, the non nano version of the ancient model, as the reward for this mission. However, Gu Panpan Pan was only willing to pay for five sets of armors, just enough to arm a small team. I organized my own team to go there. In order to ensure the successful completion of the mission and to ensure that the mother of evil can be captured alive, at least 15 people are allowed to go there, therefore, it is necessary to have a set of armors. One less will not work. Lin Hao initially offered 30 sets, but now the price has been reduced by half. If you don't do it, you can fire us, the project team can always offer a reward to someone else to do it. Gu Panpan Pan was angry. Although the ancient model of force armor was not worth much, the military industrial companies on the market now only had about 8 million units to clear their inventory. However, you came up and asked for 30 sets, and after cutting for a long time, you still have 15 sets. Too much. Lin Hao cursed in his heart, who can use 5 sets? I have so many soldiers, even if I only count the skeletons, I need 27 sets. The two argued in the office for a long time, and finally Professor Tong spoke up and said that the market price for capturing this evil mother alive would start at more than 50 million. Since they are field staff for their own project, it doesn't matter if they pay more, the project team has money anyway. In fact, Professor Tong was worried that Lin Hao would go back to the Third War College to find someone to capture the evil mother and sell it to similar research project groups in three other liberal arts colleges. Gu Panpan Pan reluctantly paid for 15 sets of old model armors. When he opened the warehouse, Lin Hao saw that there were 15 sets inside, and he quickly said, aren't these for inventory clearance, just sell the rest to me. Okay, 10 million for a set, Gu Panpan Pan said while nodding. Suddenly I realized that I have no money. Just give me 15 sets, Lin Haodong never said the previous sentence. Snort, Gu Panpan Pan ordered 15 sets of armors, Lin Hao took them all and put them into the storage halo, then signed and set off the day after tomorrow. Go back to the beach villa, close the doors and windows, and ask AI to lock the windows so that no outside can come in. Command the bones, the skeletons hadn't come out for a long time, so Lin Hao asked them to line up and stand aside. He took out 15 sets of battle armor and ordered the skeleton in the first position, throw away the knife in your hand and put on the battle armor. Crack. The rusty and broken knife was thrown to the ground, the skeleton stepped forward and opened the armor. Just like Iron Man wore the armor in the early days, the entire skeleton stood up and was wrapped in the armor. Cool, 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 there was a sound like transformers transforming, and the armor was adjusted. The skeleton put on the armor's very sci-fi style helmet, and his eyes flashed red, like a space knight or a magic knight, with black spots and white spots all over his body. Very cool. Not bad, from the outside, it doesn't look like there's a skeleton inside. Lightsaber, kinetic shield ready. Lin Hao ordered, but the skeleton didn't understand what a lightsaber was and what a kinetic shield was, so he stood still and didn't move. What should we do? The skeleton doesn't know what a lightsaber is. Try this, use AI to assist. Lin Hao connected to the AI in the villa, and then used the AI to train the skeletons. For example, if Lin Hao ordered weapons to be prepared, the AI would control the armor and ask the skeletons to take out the lightsabers. After practicing a few more times, the skeleton actually learned to hold the lightsaber by himself. Even Lin Hao didn't understand how the skeleton accessed the armor's processing system and controlled the armor to open the gate containing the lightsaber. The armor's processor is controlled by brainwave signals, and the skeleton has no brain. Its head is empty. How is it controlled? Lin Hao felt that there was still a need to join Professor Tong's project team. Lightsaber ready, kinetic shield ready. The outer layer of the battle armor on the skeleton's thigh opened, and the hilt of a lightsaber popped out. The skeleton grabbed the hilt, and with a buzz sound, 
the lightsaber stretched out, and the blue-white sword light was particularly dazzling. At the same time, his left arm shook, and a device popped out from the outward position, and the energy shield unfolded to form a shield. Go and slash the second-ranked skeleton with one sword. The skeleton wearing armor didn't hesitate at all, he just stepped forward and slashed with his sword. Click. The second skeleton was cut in half by a sword and fell to the ground on the spot, then returned to nothingness, and another one emerged two seconds later. Not bad. Lin Hao discovered that when a skeleton used a lightsaber, even it would still cause 200% of the weapon's damage. In other words, lightsaber damage plus own 200% weapon damage. The skeleton was cut down with one sword, and the damage was much higher than that of his bigger flat A. You know, in these ancient models of armor, the attack power of the lightsaber is equivalent to level 40 weapon damage. But there is a question. After the skeleton wearing the armor returns to the darkness, will the armor follow him back? Or should the skeleton go back on its own and the armor stay in place? If the war armor follows back to the darkness and summons the skeleton, will the war armor come out? Lin Hao himself didn't know whether the skeleton summoned each time were the same batch. Do you want to try it? Suddenly, a strange phenomenon occurred. The other skeletons first looked at the broken weapons in their hands, and then at the skeleton wearing armor, mainly at the lightsaber in its hand. Throw away the tetanus weapon in your hand and go up to grab the armor. But there were only 14 sets of battle armor left, and there were 26 skeletons. Everyone wanted to wear the battle armor, and they started fighting immediately. Stop fighting. If you break my furniture, I will go crazy. Lin Hao's head suddenly got big. The skeletons were like children grabbing their favorite toys beating them with deadly hands. Although the skeletons heard the order, they still fought for a while before stopping. Each of them had their arms broken or their jaws dropped. I'll buy 12 more sets, and I'll share them all. However, can you tell me, can you wear the armor back into the darkness, and then wear it out again? The skeleton who had already put on the armor actually nodded to Lin Hao. Lin Hao's eyelids jumped and he quickly went to the trading floor to look for goods. Lin Hao went to the trading hall non-stop to see if there were any of these old models of armor for sale. An inquiry found that a large number of arms companies that previously produced these armors were clearing their inventory, with 8 million sets in stock. Lin Hao immediately placed an order for 13 sets and purchased automatic repair support devices for a total of 150 million. I spent half of my cash, and it was worth it when the goods arrived that night. All 27 skeletons put on battle armor and adjusted the styles of weapons according to their own preferences. Some used lightsabers, some used swords and shields, some used spears, and some used battle axes. There are even two that used two force gatlings instead of melee weapons. Don't worry about energy consumption. These two gatlings can shoot continuously for 5 hours per second. The extra set is for the puppet Wang Siki. This set is a higher model than the skeletons, but it is also among the eliminated ones. It is a girl-only style, with pink and black covering the whole body, but it particularly shows off the body curves. During the battle, four floating laser cannons will fly out from behind the back and be controlled with thoughts. The puppet Wang Siki can use them because she controls thousands of undead cockroaches with her thoughts. There is a slender tail behind it, which looks a bit like a succubus's tail, but in fact it is a weapon, a force electromagnetic soft steel whip. The puppet king Sikite likes to turn his nails into a whip and then use it to whip Wei Wa Sa full of immortal cockroaches, so Lin Hao specially chose this armor for her. After the puppet Wang Siki puts on the armor, he can always stay by Lin Hao's side and pretend to be a teammate. After preparing everything, Lin Hao set off the next day. Destination Sanqingshan Dimensional Crack Sanqingshan Dimensional Crack Management Office This Lin Hao, I've been waiting for him all day, and he's not here yet. Ji Yu Pan Pan and Huang Shihu came over on the day Lin Hao set out. The two took a plane to Sanqing City, and then drove to Sanqing Mountain in the suburbs. All the dimensional cracks in UED have destroyed the entrances and opened powerful barriers to prevent monsters from coming. At the same time, a dimensional crack management office was established, and management buildings were built at the entrances of various dimensional passages to wrap the dimensional cracks inside. Some dimensional cracks even went to the opposite side to establish surveillance outposts. Some higher level alien worlds will also build defensive fortresses. Anyone who wants to explore other worlds must register at the Dimensional Crack Management Office before they can enter. Giyu Pan Pan arrived yesterday, but the sun was almost setting today and she still hadn't seen Lin Hao's shadow. Isn't Lin Hao absconding with the money? Huang Lihu said. Probably not. If he dares to escape, 
His sister will be hacked to death by the Navy, Ji Yu Panpan said angrily. She hoped that Lin Hao would just run away. By the way, senior, did Lin Hao pay for 15 sets of armors in advance, the old ones? Huang Li Hu asked. Yeah, what's wrong? Ji Yu Panpan asked. Over there, in the direction of sunset, there are 20 or 30 figures swaying. They are all wearing force armor. Except for a man and a woman at the front, are the ones behind them the style that Lin Hao prepaid? Huang Li Hu pointed in the direction, and Ji Yu Panpan looked over. It was a bit far away, and he could only see human figures. He quickly used a telescope to take a look. I saw the sun setting in the distance. Lin Hao was wearing the latest nano battle armor, mainly red with gold. There was a big cursive word, death, written on the left chest near the heart, which was very conspicuous. Next to him was a slender woman, wearing a full coverage close fitting mecha, dressed in pink and black, with a particularly enchanting succubus tail behind her. Behind them, 27 mechas of the same style and color lined up in two rows and moved forward menacingly. The setting sun behind them reflected their shadows, which became longer and longer, giving them an indescribable feeling. Lin Hao also saw Ji Yu Panpan and Huang Liger. He jumped over and landed half crouched in front of Ji Yu Panpan, drawing a beautiful arc in the air. The puppet Wang Siki also jumped over, but when he landed, he did not squat but stood gracefully. All 27 armored skeletons jumped over and landed one by one. Since they did not know how to control their strength, they frequently bumped the ground when they landed, causing smoke and dust to billow from the ground. Huang Li Hu immediately fanned Ji Yu Panpan with a big fan to blow away the dust. Ji Yu Panpan looked angry. Are you here to catch monsters or to show off? This movement was quite big, and everyone around them looked over and thought it was a collective activity of some emerging guild. The momentum was really good. Do you know I've been waiting for you all day? Ji Yu Panpan scolded her. Lin Hao said, It is clearly written in the contract that we will not go in until tomorrow, but I have already arrived a day early. You came and waited yesterday. Who is to blame? Ji Yu Panpan scolded. Didn't you read the message? I sent you a text message yesterday morning. It said it very clearly. Only then did Lin Hao turn on the optical computer to read the message. I didn't read it. I brought people all the way here and didn't have time to read the message. You, Ji Yu Panpan was really angry. Lin Hao saw it at this time. The information said that in addition to selling the video to Demon Dan Academy, it was also sold to three other universities. Now the project teams of the four universities to study undead have sent people over to arrest this person. The mother of evil. If you have something urgent, just call me. No serious person reads text messages these days. After reading it, Lin Hao felt that it didn't matter. No matter who caught it, they could just rob it halfway. Ji Yu Panpan turned around and asked Huang Li Hu, Didn't I ask you to call him to urge him? Did you call him? Huang Li Hu said with a guilty conscience, You know that I have been beaten. Look at the record and you can't get through. Lin Hao and Ji Yu Panpan went over to take a look, and they were right. The number 6 in the middle turned into 9, so this number was not Lin Hao's. Ji Yu Panpan suddenly had a dark look on his face, it turns out it was you, a fat man who did it. Huang Li Hu was ashamed, he didn't dare to call, at least for a short period of time, he could only make a wrong call on purpose. Ji Yu Panpan kicked the yellow liger away, if you fail to succeed, you will fail, get away. Lin Hao said, maybe it's his first time on a mission, so it's normal for him to be nervous, but then again, isn't Huang Li Hu also a freshman, doesn't he need military training? Huang Shihu crawled back and stood up, and said, I submitted the appointment of the project team in the outing assignment, and was approved not to need military training. My classmates are all jealous of me. Another one who doesn't need military training, Ji Yu Panpan doesn't want to talk to Huang Li Hu now. How is the situation now? Have everyone from the other three schools entered? Lin Hao saw that Ji Yu Panpan's mood was a bit wrong, so it was better to change the subject. We all went in this morning, Ji Yu Panpan said, then let's go in too. It's okay. It only takes half a day. At most, we can only find it. Even if we catch it, we can just rob it halfway. Look at us, we are strong and strong. Lin Hao raised his thumb and pointed at the men behind him. Ji Yu Panpan scanned it with a light brain and couldn't see the level information of the 28 people, but judging from the momentum, they were indeed strong. But I'm afraid you may not find it useful. Forget it. Maybe it's really possible. The other three universities combined don't have as many people as we do. Let's go, it's time for us to go in. We've already registered. Liger just needs to fill in the number of people. Let's go queue up. Ji Yu Panpan turned around and walked at the front, 
followed by such a large group of people. People around them thought they were going to sweep away the indigenous tribe. As soon as I walked to the door of the management building, I saw people from the other three schools coming out cursing. Huh? What's going on? Why did they come out? Lin Hao, Ji Yu Panpan, and Huang Shihu asked at the same time. With a look from Ji Yu Panpan, Huang Lihu immediately ran up and started chatting with the other three people from the school. Soon the yellow liger came back. Senior sister, they said that there is an abnormality in the dimensional channel, and it is temporarily not allowed to pass through. You can only go in after the spell barrier master comes to see and confirms that everything is okay. Didn't they go in early? Ji Yu Panpan asked. They didn't go in. They had been waiting in line in the morning until now, and then they were notified that they could not pass for the time being. They were told to go back and wait for notification. Ha ha ha. Ji Yu Panpan laughed, quite loudly. No matter how early I came, I still couldn't get in without being stopped at the door. Hey, isn't this Ji Yu Panpan the first one to come here? Why? Your people haven't arrived yet? Someone from the Wink Academy came over and saw Ji Yu Panpan and teased. Haha, you are all queuing up at the door, and now you are kicked out. Ji Yu Panpan responded directly. He's a little tall, but he's very articulate, said a tall boy in the Wink Academy team. Lin Hao took a look, wasn't that Gao Shangba? Gao Shangba also saw Lin Hao at this time and immediately shouted, Isn't this brother Lin? After saying that, he quickly looked around to see if Lin Yarong was nearby. You two know each other? Ji Yu Panpan asked. Lin Hao said, It's not like we know each other. It's just that the last time he quarreled with me, he was knocked unconscious by my sister's move. Ji Yu Panpan chuckled and didn't want to speak. Lin Hao asked Gao Shangba, What are you doing here about the Wink Academy? You're just catching some monsters in their 20s and 30s. Gao Shangba said, We in the Seven Star Alliance are of the same spirit and the affairs of Wink Academy are our business. Besides, with me as an S-level person in charge, wouldn't it prevent some people from trying to bully us and steal our monsters midway? When Gao Shangba spoke, he did not look at Lin Hao, but looked sideways at the other two schools, namely the Imperial Star Academy and the Demonic Capital Kaiming Academy. Lin Hao looked at them and guessed that something unpleasant happened while queuing. The other two liberal arts colleges, Xingchen College, brought over two A-level students, who were from Xingwu College. Kaiming Academy has four force nano battle armors from all its students. Lin Hao felt that Xing Chen and Kaiming were planning to unite. It seems that I am not the only one who has this idea of grabbing monsters halfway. The team leader of Star Academy, EURAN, stood up and said, We are just having a friendly exchange and have no other ideas. If you slander us again, I will sue you for slander. Gao Shangba said with an unhappy look on his face, If you dare to say it, admit it. Don't say one thing and do another. The team leader of Kaiming Academy, He Wenmin, snorted and said, Don't let people think about it, whose liberal arts guy comes out to grab a low-level research sample and brings out an S-level 1, or a level 41, for fear of getting beaten, isn't that right? If you're afraid, just offer a reward, don't say you don't have money. The team leader of Wink Academy, Hua Jian Li, said disdainfully, What? We in the Seven Star Alliance are so united in one voice. What's wrong with Junior Gao doing the tasks for us for free? If Kaiming has the ability, ask your Demon City's Martial Arts Academy to send someone. Come on. Oh, I forgot, S Class ones are too expensive, you may not be able to afford them, after all, EOD just demolished all the experimental buildings. Three women, six pairs of eyes, their anger almost condensed into actual thunder and lightning. Giu Panpan laughed, Chi Chi Chi, on the side, feeling that the three of them were so childish. Giu Panpan, you're not much better. I thought I didn't see how many people you brought here. Who can catch a monster at level 20 or 30 and bring 30 sets of armor? The target of the attack instantly shifted to Ji Yu Panpan. Ji Yu Panpan immediately counterattacked. Why? Our project team has plenty of money. As long as we make sure we can grab it. Ah, no, we just need to catch the samples. With this small amount of funds, let's throw water. If you are not convinced, go back and call for help. The four women started arguing on the spot. Lin Hao and Huang Shihu shook their heads. They really didn't understand why the people on this project were so unified. The selected supervisors were all women, and they were all relatively hot tempered. Liger, let's study where to spend the night tonight. Lin Hao felt that there might be no chance to enter the dimensional rift tonight. Huang Shihu said, I just asked them, saying that tonight is definitely not certain. The barrier master will not come, and it will be a day later at the earliest. Lin Hao turned on the optical computer and looked at the map. 
there were no big cities nearby, only some scattered small towns and villages. Well, is Taoshi village so clearly marked on the map? A peach blossom plus running water, this is the symbol of Taoshi village, which is particularly obvious on the map. Huang Lihu said, Brother, have you been at home all year round without traveling? This Taoshi village is famous throughout the league. Famous throughout the league? Why? Lin Hao asked. Beauty, Taoshi is the most beautiful in the world. How many people go there every year just to have an encounter? There are many inns and houses where you can stay in the village, Huang Shihu said. I'll go, it sounds like it's a red light district. What Lin Hao could think of was peach blossoms and flowing water, filled with pink ambient lights. Don't talk nonsense. The people there are all decent families, it's just that the women in Taoshi village don't marry outside, they only recruit sons-in-law. Of course, others will not dislike the poor and love the rich. As long as they see the right person, you are willing to marry into the family. The men will work and the women will marry. Weaving for a lifetime. Huang Lihu said shaking his head. Lin Hao felt, how come you are so familiar with that place? How about we stay there tonight? Lin Hao and Huang Lihu said at the same time. Uh, ha ha ha, heroes think alike. The two looked at each other, laughed together, and wanted to go together. If we want to go, let's go quickly. With so many people unable to go in today, there will definitely be a lot of people going to Taoshi village. We have to move quickly so that we can have a better choice if we go early, Huang Shihu said. What to choose? Lin Hao asked. Choose your landlord, just pick those who are pretty and juicy, or those who are 30-year-old young women, he he he. Huang Lihu said while rubbing his hands. Let's go. Lin Hao said immediately. After saying that, the two of them took advantage of Ji Yu Pan Pan's quarrel with people from other colleges and hurried to Taoshi village to pick out an inn and a residence. Lin Hao was worried about accidents that might happen while living there, so he told Huang Shihu that his men didn't want to wait, so, they, would go back first and come back to work after the passage was opened. At the same time, the puppet Wang Siki was left to protect Ji Yu Pan Pan. Lin Hao drove a hover motorcycle and Huang Lihu drove a small Land Rover. The two of them ran to Taoshi village according to the navigation system. At 7 o'clock in the evening, just after sunset and starting to get dark, the two arrived at the entrance of Taoshi village. At a glance, not even half a person could be seen. Hey, little fat man, you're cheating on me. There's no one around and the lights are dim. Are you telling me this place is famous? Lin Hao's expectations suddenly dropped to zero degrees and he didn't need to force himself to calm down? It doesn't make sense. I've been here before, although I didn't stay here last time and just stopped by for a meal, it's still very popular. Did something happen? Huang Shifu was very sure that he was not here last time, such. Go in and take a look. If something really happens, you have to report it to the Superpower Public Security Patrol Bureau. Well, let's go in and have a look. The two drove into the village to see what was going on. Lin Hao and Huang Shifu entered the village. They saw no one along the way. Most of the houses were locked and even the lights were not turned on. What's going on? The whole village is missing. It's impossible, right? This place is so close to the dimensional rift in Sanjing Mountain. How is it possible that the entire village has disappeared and no one has discovered it? The two of them slowed down and prepared to enter a house that looked like the door was just closed and unlocked. I just got out of the car and just opened the door when I heard loud shouting from behind. What are you doing? Are you a thief? Huang Liger retracted his outstretched leg, and Lin Hao was almost hit by his retreating figure. Huh? Is there anyone? Lin Hao and Huang Li Hu immediately went over and asked. B carrot HG plus 2. Are you from this village? I want to ask what's going on here? There is no one in the whole village? Was it attacked by some monster? What monster attacked? Your home was attacked by a monster. This is Taoshi village, Taoshi village with beautiful mountains and clear waters. The man felt like he was about to lose his temper. Are you cursing our village? It's not a monster attack. Why is there no one from the village entrance to here? Every household has closed its doors and turned off the lights, Lin Hao asked. There is a happy event in our village today. The whole village went to the village square to have a wedding drink together. Of course there is no one at home, the man said angrily. If he hadn't just happened to come back to get some special tobacco leaves, these two people would have gone in and touched around and something would have been lost at home. Huh, it turns out that the whole village went to have a wedding banquet. I was so scared that I thought the whole village was gone. Huang Lihu lowered his chest and felt relieved. You are the one who lost your whole family. The man cursed and went into the house to get tobacco leaves. Hey, that's not right, brother, 
Didn't Taoshi Village say that tourists often come to visit? Where are the tourists? They don't go to have a banquet to, do they? Lin Hao doesn't think he can be so hospitable to this level, right? We're just going to have a dinner together. All travelers who have rented a room are invited. The old man took the tobacco leaves on the table and came out and said. Huang Lihu asked, Brother, can we too go and eat? Yes, anyone who has rented an inn or a private residence can eat there. Can we rent it now? Lin Hao asked. Okay, but now everyone is over there, and I'm the only one who comes back to get my things. You can only rent my guest room. Okay, brother, how many guest rooms do you have? We want to rent four rooms. Lin Hao raised his finger and said. You can have a few more. All the tourists here have checked out at noon today. Most of us are in this business. Every family has ten or eight houses. Each room costs one thousand yuan a night. You can go in by yourself. Pick a room, there is a key in the room. Once you have picked a room, take the key, lock the door and come out, I will take you to dinner. Lin Hao and Huang Shihu immediately went in to choose a room. There was a bungalow inside, and then they separated the rooms one by one, which was quite simple. I took the key and locked the door, went out to pay, and followed my brother to the table. This old man's name is Ni Lu. He is a peacemaker in the village. He has good relationships with many people. He usually likes to visit every house to chat and brag. On the way there, Huang Shihu secretly said to Lin Hao, Brother, this Ni Lu is a pervert. Lin Hao asked softly, How do you know? The face is sallow and the muscles are thin, the legs are weak, there is excessive sweating, and there is obvious kidney deficiency. The most important thing is that the tobacco leaf he took is called Yin Sheng. It is a famous aphrodisiac tobacco, and the effect is quite good, Huang Shihu said. Damn it, when you say that, it seems a bit. Dot how do you know that tobacco leaf is called Yin Sheng? Lin Hao asked. Ahem, I usually prefer surfing the internet to learn more about it, Huang Lihu said with a blush. Lin Hao extremely doubted whether this guy had smoked it himself. The two of them followed Ni Lu for about ten minutes, turned behind the ancestral hall, and then arrived at the village square. The scene in front of them made Lin Hao and Huang Shihu feel the strong atmosphere of a happy event in the countryside. Night has fallen, and the wedding banquet site is picturesquely decorated with lights and fireworks. The moonlight shines on the open space and complements the colorful lights, creating a dreamlike atmosphere. The bonfire was lit, and the light illuminated everyone's face and everything around them. The best man and bridesmaids gathered around the bonfire, holding hands and dancing cheerfully. Singing and laughter came one after another, full of joy and blessings. On the high platform in the middle, the groom was wearing a straight retro Chinese tunic suit. The flowers on his chest matched the happy smile on his face, and his eyes were full of deep love for the bride. His hand held the bride's hand tightly, as if he wanted to declare to the world that this was his woman from now on through this simple gesture. The bride wore a festive red changsam, showing off her graceful figure, like a fairy descending to earth. The real flowers on her head adorn her beautiful face, her eyes are shining with happiness and expectation, and the smile on her lips is like the spring breeze blowing on her face making people feel her beautiful longing for the future. The two hundred guests at the surrounding tables all offered their deepest blessings. Kiss one, kiss one, kiss one. Ni Lu took Lin Hao and Huang Shihu to the passenger area and let them sit wherever they wanted while he went elsewhere. Before leaving, Lin Hao and Huang Shihu were told to go back to their rooms at night and not to lock the outside door. Lin Hao looked at Ni Lu. It seemed that he was not going to another dinner table, but running outside, lighting a cigarette as he walked. Hey, he shook his head, probably taking advantage of the moment to have a tryst with some girl. When he turned around, Lin Hao was startled by the whole table. One by one, they looked at the bride on the high platform as if obsessed, murmuring. So beautiful, Miss Yi is so beautiful, why is the groom not me? How am I worse than him? The same goes for Huang Liger. His eyes were a little more intoxicating than when he usually looked at Ji Yu Pan Pan, and his saliva almost flowed out. Is it so beautiful? Lin Hao also looked over, nothing special. She has a face like a porcelain doll, bright red lips, charming and sexy eyes, white hands with slender fingers, long and narrow eyebrows and high cheekbones. It's just ordinary material. Anyone in school would be prettier than her. Although Ji Yu Pan Pan is a little shorter, in terms of facial features, she is much more beautiful than Miss Yi. Why does Huang Lihu seem to be obsessed? Looking around, all the tourists are like this. The most amazing thing is that it happens to both men and women. On the other side, in the area where the villagers were sitting, nothing like this happened at all. They were all eating, drinking, and guessing as usual. 
Nothing happened on the passenger side at all. Is it because my aesthetics are different? No, Lin Hao felt that the bridesmaids were obviously more beautiful and had better figures, and even many girls from the villagers were very beautiful, completely in line with the public's facial features and body aesthetics. Why do you only have eyes for the bride, Miss Yi? Just as Lin Hao was about to wake up the yellow liger, the bride and groom in Gautaishan drank a glass of wine, said their wedding thanks, and went to the bridal chamber surrounded by relatives and friends. As soon as Miss Yi left his sight, Huang Shihu turned around and said, Rishan, why are you so dazed? Eat vegetables. Huh? Are you okay? What can I do? Eat quickly and pack some for senior sister after you're done? Lin Hao looked confused, something was wrong. After the young men and women went to the wedding ceremony, everyone at the guest's banquet returned to normal, and there was no longer that fanatical look on their faces. Lin Hao felt it was too weird, so he secretly asked Huang Lihu, Little fat man, do you think that bride is beautiful? Beautiful, why not beautiful? Dimples and long eyelashes are the marks of beauty, Huang Liger said while eating chicken legs. Damn it, that bride doesn't have dimples, does she? Are you dazzled? Lin Hao was very sure at first that the bride's face was very clean and there were no dimples. However, when Huang Lihu said it, he seemed to feel that he had seen it wrong. If I had known, I would have used an optical brain to take a photo. Everyone at the table was eating normally, and occasionally those who talked about the bride were all complimentary. Lin Hao had to wonder whether his aesthetics was really different from others. Huang Shihu ate and picked up, packed three large boxes, and went back with toothpicks. The banquet lasted until 9 o'clock, and everyone dispersed completely, leaving some workers behind to clean up. Back at the B&B, &B, Huang Shihu called Ji Yu Pan Pan. She had just arrived at the entrance of the village, and people from three other schools were also here. Earlier, Ji Yu Pan Pan actually quarreled with people from three other schools for three hours. Taking the puppet Wang Siki to the B&B &B where Lin Hao and Huang Shihuxia lived, Ji Yu Pan Pan took the keys and midnight snacks and said, Chi Chi and I will share a room, and you two boys will share the same room. The puppet Wang Siki used his mind to control the optical brain system of the armor, and used the optical brain to simulate sounds to communicate with Ji Yu Pan Pan. He only said very little and wore the armor throughout the whole process today. Huang Lihu had no objection. Although the room was not big, it was no problem to squeeze two boys into it. Lin Hao raised his hand. Sorry, Chi Chi and I share a room, and you two share a room. Hey, Lin Hao, do you respect others by dividing the rooms like this? Ji Yu Pan Pan originally wanted to scold Lin Hao, but Chi Chi had already stood beside Lin Hao. Haha, the relationship itself is stupid times, others may be a couple. That's right, they're not a couple. So why do you come to help Lin Hao with the project team's field tasks? No matter what, I shouldn't talk too much, I'm going back to my room to rest. Don't disturb me if you have nothing to do tonight. Ji Yu Pan Pan carried her lunchbox, swiped her card and went back to her room. She closed the door with a bang and the lock clicked very loudly. Lin Hao said, It seems that she was very angry today, it's better not to mess with her tonight. Let's go back to the room to rest early. Huang Lihu agreed. The senior sister was indeed furious today. She was already impatient waiting for Lin Hao in the morning, and she kept arguing with other students from other schools in the evening. However, senior sister is still so cute and beautiful even when she is angry. Huang Liger said with an intoxicated look. Lin Hao asked weakly, Do you think the senior is more beautiful or the bride is more beautiful? Huang Lihu actually trembled and whispered to himself, Who is beautiful? Senior sister is prettier. No, it's Miss Yi. Miss Yi is more beautiful. No, the most beautiful is senior sister. Lin Hao felt something was wrong with the little fat guy. But Lin Hao didn't step forward to wake him up. Huang Lihu went back to his room while talking to himself. Siki, put two larvae to monitor senior sister and Huang Liger. Puppet Wang Siki stretched out his hand, and the battle armor opened a crack in the palm of his hand. Two insects crawled out, quickly flew to their rooms, got in through the gap under the door, and then climbed to the vent on the ceiling. He stared at Ji Yu Pan Pan and Huang Liger at all times. Lin Hao and the puppet Wang Siki also went back to their rooms to rest. Owner. The puppet Wang Siki used an optical brain to simulate his own voice, and then spoke with great respect. I can finally talk. I was still thinking about how to communicate with you before, but now I can just wear this. Lin Hao laughed at himself. If he had known it, he would have equipped her with an optical brain. Optical computers are not expensive and almost everyone has one. They're as common as mobile phones in previous lives. 
Release the evil spirit and let it find the bride to be married tonight, Lin Hao said to the puppet Wang Siki. Lin Hao felt that the bride was too evil. If everyone in the room was impressed by her beauty, it would still be justified. However, the people in this village had nothing to do and were doing whatever they were supposed to do, and all the tourists except themselves had eyes filled with enthusiasm. There is definitely something wrong with this. The puppet Wang Siki released the evil spirit, and the strange laughter of, Jia 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 Jia, filled the room. Stop making noise, don't make any noise, Lin Hao didn't understand why the evil spirit always laughed loudly, for fear that others wouldn't know it was coming. The evil spirit immediately shut up and did not dare to make any more noise. The puppet Wang Siki gave an order to the evil spirit to find the people in the village who were getting married tonight and put them under surveillance. The evil spirits received the order, came out through the wall, flew into the sky, and then started searching. You said, evil spirits can tell what a newlywed is? Lin Hao suddenly remembered that evil spirits don't know if they have IQ. Puppet Wang Siki said, Master, I can control evil spirits and share vision with evil spirits. Lin Hao said, The evil spirit is out of my sight and I can't control it. How did you do it? This is Master. You have handed over the power of remote control to your slave, Puppet Wang Siki said. Is that so? It seems that when a large number of undead cockroaches hatched in the hospital, Lin Hao felt that there were too many and it was too troublesome to control them one by one, so he asked the puppet Wang Siki to control the undead units she released. It turns out that it means decentralizing authority. It seems that I can't say it casually in the future. The puppet Wang Siki controlled the evil spirit and shared his vision with Lin Hao. The evil spirits hovered over Taoshi village and soon found the newlyweds home decorated with lights and colorful decorations. He immediately flew over and passed through the wall without any hindrance. Um, um, ah, ah, yes, yes. Just after entering the new house, with only half of his head exposed, a scene that cannot be described in words appeared in front of the evil spirit. However, he could only see the back, not the front, and the voice was made up by Lin Hao's mind. This is a position where the woman is on top. Both men and women are naked. The evil spirits are behind the woman and have not moved around to the front. Lin Hao swallowed his saliva and wanted to order the evil spirit to go around to the front but the green light came in time, leaving him with no intention of continuing to watch. There doesn't seem to be anything abnormal, forget it, it's extremely disrespectful to peek into other people's bridal chambers on their wedding night. Let the evil spirits wander elsewhere and look at those tourists. Lin Hao, who was in super sage mode, didn't want to see it at all. The puppet Wang Siki immediately let the evil spirit come out and wander around, going to the rooms of various B&Bs to see how the passengers were doing. The evil spirit came back in a circle, and in the village, the villagers and tourists were all normal. Is it my own misunderstanding? Lin Hao actually began to doubt life. After the evil spirit went back, about 20 minutes later, in the wedding room, Miss Yi had already enjoyed herself. She got out of bed to get dressed and combed her hair in front of the dressing table. The person on the bed was panting, as if his vitality was severely damaged. The camera gets closer and it turns out that this man is not the groom, but Ni Lu. The next morning, Lin Hao didn't get up until after 10 o'clock. I woke up so late on purpose. How could I get up too early in the eyes of outsiders? I was in the same room with a girl. Puppet Wang Siki put away his armor and wore ordinary clothes, slim-fitting long-sleeved trousers, a bit like yoga sportswear. He also wore a mask that covered the upper half of his face, and wore long hair shawl. They looked no different from ordinary people. Lin Hao did not expect that the puppet Wang Siki could put the armor into his body. When needed, it would grow directly inside the body and cover the body. On the surface, it looked a bit like a nano armor. I'm curious, is the body of the puppet Wang Siki the treasure bag of Jingle Cat? How can it hold so many things? When the two of them left the room, Ji Yu Pan Pan and Huang Shihu were already sitting in the yard. They were chatting about something, and Lin Hao came up to say hello. Senior, it's good morning, little fat girl. What are you talking about? You just got up, that's right. Who would get up early when accompanied by a beautiful woman? As long as there is an arm on my body, I won't get up so early, Huang Lihu said enviously. Lin Hao said, Can't you just find someone? It's far away but right in front of you. If you work harder, you will always succeed. When Huang Lihu heard this, he quickly smiled and said, I accept your noble words. Ji Yu Pan Pan rolled her eyes at the two of them. Now go back to your room and sleep for a while. It's broad daylight, so you can daydream. It seems that senior sister doesn't have this intention, it's okay, little fat paper. 
Find one in this village. All the girls here are very pre. Look at Miss Yi's bridesmaids last night. They are very good looking. Lin Hao deliberately said Miss Yi to see what Huang Lihu would do in front of Ji Yu Pan Pan. Before Huang Lihu could speak, Ji Yu Pan Pan started talking. When I just went out to buy breakfast, I heard the neighbors talking about a woman named Miss Yi. Her husband got drunk and went crazy. He went outside to pee and spilled water into the stream, drowned in. Lin Hao asked in shock, What, senior sister, are you sure he is Miss Yi's husband? Ji Yu Pan Pan said, I'm sure. The person who bought the breakfast said that she just got married last night and her husband died before the wedding, poor girl. When Huang Li Hu heard this, his eyes widened, as if he had heard some gospel. Lin Hao looked sideways at the puppet Wang Siki, as if asking, was the scene we saw together last night not fake? Puppet Wang Siki nodded, because she was very sure that what the evil spirit saw was true. Illusions, mental illusions, and even illusion barriers are ineffective against evil spirits. Evil spirits are immune to all illusions. No, I have to go take a look, it would be fine if it was just an ordinary murder case, but Lin Hao always felt that this matter was not simple. Hey, Rishan, wait for me, I'll go take a look too. Huang Shihu saw Lin Hao walking out and shouted to go over. Ji Yu Pan Pan said, ha, and said, my husband died on the wedding night, why did you go to see her? Are you watching other people's jokes? Lin Hao turned around and responded, who is going to see the dead Sina? We are going to see the little widow. After saying that, Lin Hao and Huang Shihu ran away and stood up with a swish of glance. Little widow, no, I want to have a look too. You have to keep an eye on the juniors so they don't make mistakes. Chi Chi, why don't you go over and keep an eye on Lin Hao? Before leaving, Ji Yu Pan Pan reminded Wang Siki. Wang Siki said nothing, just shook his head, did not follow him, but went back to his room to stay. Ji Yu Pan Pan was speechless. What kind of girlfriend is this? How could she be so confident that her boyfriend would go see the little widow? Regardless of her, Ji Yu Pan Pan quickly chased after her. There is no hospital in Taoshi village, only the courtyard of a rural clinic. At this time, people were standing inside and outside the clinic courtyard, including villagers and tourists. Sina's body was parked in the house, and Miss Yi sat next to it and cried sadly. A group of outsiders looked at Miss Yi and cried and they were all very sad. After Lin Hao and Huang Liger arrived, Huang Liger squeezed in desperately, but Lin Hao hid in the middle of the crowd and could clearly see what was going on in the room and hear the sounds inside. Don't be the first to do anything, lest Ms. Yi get her nod. In the room, the doctor at the clinic was writing a death report. He shook his head and said, he died at such a young age. It is better not to drink too much at wedding banquets in the future. Isn't this a red matter turned into nothing? Those who made a scene in the wedding room last night to encourage drinking are all responsible, come out and accept your punishment. The village elder said sternly, holding his cane. The young men and women who had made noise in the wedding ceremony last night stood up. They all lowered their heads like children who had done something wrong, not daring to look at Miss Yi or the clan elder. The clan elder held his cane and knocked on the ground while saying, Every one of you, please go and kneel in the ancestral hall. You will kneel there all day and night and you are not allowed to eat or drink. Those who made trouble during the wedding ceremony were all young men and women from the same village, they all accepted the punishment and lined up to bow their heads and leave, going to the ancestral hall to kneel as punishment. Lin Hao thought to himself, it seemed quite serious, in the environment of this world, there are no laws and regulations that will hold people responsible for persuading people to drink. However, the strange thing is that the village ancestral hall is not very strict, only men can enter and girls cannot enter. This custom still exists in the countryside even after the age of force. But the girls in Taoshi village also lined up to go to the ancestral hall together. Wait a minute. This is not a case of falling into the water and drowning, this is a murder case. You are shielding criminals and trying to cover up. Two tourists stood up and spoke loudly. Who are you two? The doctor in our village has diagnosed that he died of drowning, the clan elder said coldly. The two took out the badges of members of the Supernatural Security Patrol Bureau and Supernatural Patrol Team. The clan elder looked at the badge carefully and found that it was indeed the badge of the Supernatural Patrol Team. These were members of the subordinate team of the patrol brigade in the nearby city of Sanshan City, police officer Shinin and police officer Chi Liangye. The two of them happened to be on vacation and came here for two days. When this happens, their professional instinct prevents them from sitting idly by. Two police officers from the patrol team, the doctor in our village has diagnosed him as drowning. What evidence do you have that he was murdered? 
the clan elder asked, his attitude having changed a lot. Shinnan said, I also attended the wedding banquet last night. The groom's face was obviously rosy and plump. But now he is flat and deflated, and his body is pale. Are you telling me that he simply died of drowning? Qi Liangye also said, I have already reported to the superiors and will send someone to do an autopsy. The murderer will be found and brought to justice, and Miss Yi will be given an explanation. The words of the two police officers made many tourists behind them applaud. Officer, there's no need to wait for someone to come from above. This place is so far away from the city. By the time they get there, the evidence may have been destroyed by the murderer. We're here to assist in the investigation. Eura Ann stepped forward and said she could help. Just you, you can only rely on optical brain scanning, who can't, let us do the autopsy in a polite way. Every year, we dissect not only 10,000 but also 9,000 orcs. The tall and mighty Gao Shangba pushed the crowd aside to make way, and Hua Jian Li walked out slowly, like a master. It turns out he is a top student from one of the four major liberal arts universities. Shinnan and Qi Liangye looked at the student ids they presented and nodded in agreement for their help. Miss Yi, who was holding a handkerchief and crying quietly beside her, glanced at the two police officers and then at Gao Shangba. A smile appeared on the corner of her mouth under the handkerchief. Standing at a side angle, Lin Hao could see clearly, 